Hello traders, John at stockbookie.com. Today is 11-15-2018 and this is our live stream session. So uh, let's get right into the charts. I was looking at the UNG. Um, gosh, what a pop and what a drop, guys. That's why I tell my members, you know, if you get pops like this, start taking profits. You wake up the next day, boom, you're down 17%. But what a launch here, guys. And then uh, I forgot UNGA or whatever the heck it is. That thing was flying yesterday too. Unbelievable, guys. All right, so let's get right into the SPY. Uh, intraday action. Let's take a look at a handle on these markets. Uh, you guys know the uh, routine. If you're new to this, uh, Solnetti's uh, from yesterday. Andy, you are the man. We shorted it yesterday. Again, 50-50 shot, buddy. You got on the right side of the trade. Casino, baby. Casino. Could have went down. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So, SPY. We're right into this area. Uh, gap fill, 270 even number. We're starting to bounce up right now. Um, we did buy some puts um, on the SPY for a spec play going into NVIDIA tomorrow. Guys, if you're going to take that trade, go small. Um, it, it, it's a 50-50 shot like the casino. If NVIDIA drops, it will drag the whole markets down and we'll be out of those puts. If the puts start to fade today, and uh, there you go. They're at 2 bucks now, so uh, if you guys want to enter, you guys can. If you're members, you know what I'm doing. Uh, if we start to fade today and this thing starts to drop, I will most likely probably sell half of the puts just to get out, and then uh, we'll see what happens uh, tonight with NVIDIA. Again, guys, 50-50 shot. If you guys can't handle pain, then don't take the trade. All right, so so right now, you know, we would just kind of fade. If you look at the 60-minute here, just kind of fading, 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 holding the 618. We did fill the gap today down here at the 267.77, and this is exactly where we bounced. We didn't do anything going long here. Um, just to, with NVIDIA on deck, you, you saw Warren Buffett come out, Tepper. What did I say like a week ago, guys? Watch for Buffett, watch for Tepper, watch for Siegel. When the markets are starting to tank, um, you know, who do they bring out? Those three. And then Tepper's buying Apple. You save Apple, you save the world. Uh, Buffett's buying the banks now because Goldman Sachs getting slammed. It, it, it's such a bunch of crap, guys. CNBC clowns coming out again. It, it's so typical. When the markets start tanking, watch for Buffett, guys. They, they do it all the time. Um, Gary Hill, yeah, how about that Netties, guys? Awesome. I don't, you know, we, we, we'll play 50-50 shots going out like Andy does. Yeah, it went up, but you know what? We're waiting for uh, scalps or waiting for day trades, guys. Look at this, our entry price. We added twice on this one. I did like the, um, if you go back, what was I looking at, the daily? This is what I was looking at, guys. So the first level was around 237.69, a little bit higher. And then we added when it pushed up into this area, too. I like the two, 242 area as well. So we added once. We added twice. Our average price was 240.67. And bam. If you remember, I hope you caught this. That was epic. We got 10 bucks on the last half, and we were out. So that was a nice trade there. I'd rather play the... Um, the uh, bounce and then the short, you know, some people, you know, we're going to play with those puts going into NVIDIA stuff. That's more of a spec play. You could buy one option for 185 bucks. That's the most you're going to lose, period. These trades here going into, uh, you know, 50, they're 50-50 shots, guys. But for me, I'd rather play the push up and then short it here and get the, get the money there and be out. You know, and this could have went a little bit higher. I was also looking for, you had the gap fill here right around the 253 and the 250 area. So you had more, you know, that, that was the next, if we really started pushing, that would have been the area right there. So, but yeah, great trade on that one. Boom, in and out and done. So let's see here. Soon after I saw red uh, candle. Yep. Uh, NVIDIA. Yeah. And uh, John, thanks for the 850. Yep. I found out you call it. Yeah. B-Rabbit. How about the Buffett? Uh, let's talk to Warren Buffett this morning. Oh, and let's bring out Tepper too. And oh, you bought Apple? How much did you buy? Oh my gosh, you did. Oh my gosh. D Dave Tepper bought more Apple, everybody. Oh my gosh, hurry. <laughs> so, you know, um, thanks for the netties today, call. Yeah, that four fifth, nice. I missed it, but I didn't uh, didn't chase it, so I'm happy. Yeah, so no problem. I don't think it was a 50 50 shot. Tape was ready. It's a 50 50 shot, Andy. That's it. All right, keep calling them and let's see how many more you get, and then we'll go from there. All right, so NVIDIA, what do you think, Andy? 
You looking at the tape on that one? So let, let's let's look at NVIDIA. Andy, what do you think, bud? It's a 50-50 shot. You know, that that's the that's the thing about earnings, guys. It could go either way. And then and then it Nettie's bounced up and boom, right back down. So um let's see here. Uh yeah, so NVIDIA guys, like I said, you know, we're at the low end of the range. People are trying to buy the dip you know they're trying to buy the dip at 245 200 keeps going down margin calls are happening and then boom well andy look at the tape bud you just said the tape was great for china er yesterday what's the tape saying it's still a 50 50 shot bud bottom line you know just, just like the puts we bought today on the spy it's a 50 50 shot but you gotta know that if you're gonna buy puts or gonna buy calls whatever go small don't make the pain so bad. If you get railed on the trade, then, then oh well. It's a couple hundred bucks, just like the casino. <laughs> That's how I play it. But at least at the casino, you're getting drinks. So here, here you just get slapped in the face a couple times. <laughs> and then the Tilray uh, options, they're at four bucks now, guys. They actually went to five today, so we were actually making money on these. Still not doing bad, though. We get, we get one more bid on Tilray. Maybe we get some news and that thing shoots up 50 bucks. These options will be killing it. I'm still in those um, calls until Ray. I'm going to hold them. I don't have a big position, but I'm holding strong. Um, I think NVIDIA is long since it's been beaten down so much and uh, they want to save it, but I wouldn't go big. Yeah, exactly. It's a, still a 50-50 shot. So um, I've been looking at the earnings on NVIDIA and see if they had uh, been slowing down. I say they uh, missed by the slightest due to crypto not being. But the problem is, guys, with NVIDIA, it's it's still a high flyer. You know, this this thing went from 20 bucks to 300 guys, in two years. Still a high flyer. First target hit at 207, wherever the 20 MA is. Second target, guys, going to be a buck 20. Telling you, I don't know if I don't know how fast it's going to go down. If this thing does pop, guys, short it. How about that? Make it makes it a little bit easier to look at. All right, let's see here. Hold on. You guys know the routine. Put punch up the uh, the symbols. We'll take a look at stuff. Let me go back here. Netties, yeah, Netties. That was a nice one though. Nice pop on that. But again, I <clears throat> after the pop, I'm looking to short. Uh, let's see here. Good to short snap. No, 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 no. Snap. We were talking about going long. No, snap would have been a short up here. No, you don't want to short at the lows. No way. I mean, this could be a buyout. This could be a buyout candidate. Uh, we're waiting. I'm waiting for five bucks. If we go to five bucks. I'll start maybe nibbling on this one, possibly. But no, do not short snap. Don't even don't even think about that. Just just get that off your radar. You don't short stocks at the lows. You short them at the highs up here. But yeah, I, I see. I know what you're saying, though. But this thing could go to zero. It would be a hell of a short. But nah, I mean, e even even right here would have been a good short here. Because look, guys, we got the retrace. What did we talk about yesterday? If you're in the room yesterday, look what happened. So we go down. They get everybody on board on the IPO. They slap them in the face. They all dump. It starts going up. The guys who all dump down here start chasing it here. They get, so they get trapped again, and then they slap them again. So they take all their money here. They take all their money there. But this would have been the short right here. Look at that. You got the gap fill right there at 2111. That would have been the short. Damn, look at that, though. Gosh, retraces perfectly to the gap fill. Lights out. But no, don't touch this one. If you want to go long, possibly. If you go long. If it goes below the 581 area, 84 area, you got to get the hell out. It's most likely going lower. This is a bottom feeding play. Um, if the markets catch a bid, maybe float up through Christmas, this could possibly pop. If they're a buyout candidate, that's what people, you know, this this is where you start getting interested in the long. Me, not yet. I think maybe lower prices. But if you have to go long in this one, use 581 or below as a stop out. Don't go heavy. Even a thousand shares at sixty seven hundred bucks, that's not too bad. You know, I mean you're still risking sixty, you know, seven grand in this trade for this one to get beat down. But this one most likely will be a buyout candidate. I, I don't know if it's going to be or not, but I would be definitely looking at possibly picking up some shares down here. Uh let's see here. I don't know about NVIDIA. Yeah, net definitely an Andy, don't go big on those. You know, that that's that's my rule too. Never. You know, yeah, NVIDIA, hard to say. Again, I bought some puts on the SPY. I'm playing it as a spec play. If the SPY pulls back into the close today, I'll be out of those. If I get my 50% for 50%, I don't have a big position, so I could care less. 
Uh, let's see. How about Exxon Mobil? Exxon Mobil. <clears throat> Um, yeah, just chopping. I mean, Exxon, Exxon is the leader, guys, and this thing just can't get going. I mean, this thing, at, at, as one of the leaders, like Apple and all the rest of them, this thing should be at the highs, just be grinding. But now we're back below the MAs on the monthly chart. Let's look at the daily. Let's look a little more short term. Yeah, well, hitting double bottom. Hmm. You know, oil was getting beat down right here. Everyone, oh, oil's a disaster. Wow, look at that. And double bottom right there, guys, holding it too. Well, this this one could actually bounce. You know, you got a level here, you still got a gap fill here, you got another double bottom down there. Um, yeah, just I mean, starts getting a bid, and then right when it looks right when it's about to start looking good, guys, right back down. It gets catches the bid off the double bottom, comes back in. Yeah, you know what? Don't touch this one. Um, if you have to go long in Exxon Mobil, you know, use this, use that 75 as a stop out. But honestly, it starts hitting this area more and more and more. I mean, and it's coming down with a good vengeance, gets a bounce, comes down, gets a good bounce. If this one gets a shorter term bounce into these, this thing could definitely turn around and start rolling over. So be careful. Now, Alex, if you were, um, we emailed each other. If you're in here, now there's your 185 on the, on the puts. <laughs> so you can even get a better entry than me now. And that's what I'm saying. So when, you know, when I post a trade out there, guys, on Twitter, if you remember, and you know I got those puts, as soon as I bought those puts, they popped to like 230. I think they went, yeah, or 225, 220. And I had a member go, hey, I, you know, you posted that trade at 185, that option, and I couldn't get into it. They were already 220. And now they're back at 185. So don't chase. I mean, I, I think even at 220, it wouldn't be bad. You paid up 40 bucks on the trade, you know, if you did one option. And remember, guys, these are spec plays. But, um, but yeah, this one, the Exxon Mobil, remember, this is the leader. This thing's got a lead if it starts moving. Uh, weekly chart, look at that. You're down sideways. Yeah, don't, don't touch this one. Look at that, too, trend line. Look at that, guys. You know, if you really, you could probably put it, look at that, though, damn. There's your trend line, guys. If you're trying to go long, it needs to get above that. Every time it hits that area, it looks like it's coming right back in. High, lower high, lower high, lower high. It's starting to trend lower, so just be careful. Uh, if it does break the 76 area down in here, you're most likely going lower. Spy and everything starts to dump, you better watch out. Let's see here. Um, might have missed, but eggs best exit still up. Uh, one on one strike. Um, yeah, we're short dub WMT, and you know I told my members, hey guys, if it pops, we'll add more. If it drops, we're already in the trade. So we're already in the trade. We're in the driver's seat. This was the end of the road. It looks like right here. Doesn't mean it can't reverse and pop. We're into the 382 retrace from this fib from this low to that high. So it does have some support down here at the 100 even number, $99 area. So if that thing cracks, we're going right to 95. If this area cracks, I think we could easily go to 90 and possibly 82. A uh, weekly target would be 77 bucks, 78 bucks if the markets start to fall apart. Um, and gosh, weekly close. If we close down in here on the weekly tomorrow, it's an ugly reversal candle, guys, on the weekly. That will most likely lead to a little bit of a retrace and then lower prices. But keep an eye on this one. If you are a member and in this trade, we are in the driver's seat a couple bucks. And, uh, you know, maybe we get a couple more bucks. We'll pull off half and continue the trade. We're big believers of pulling off half, guys, protecting the trade, and then going from there. And another thing I want to say to you guys, members, if you guys are in a trade and I'm not posting anything, like getting out of something, and you're making money, get the hell out. Don't don't let me make your decision for you. You know, if you're in a trade, you're up 7 8%, and I don't have a post out there yet, take it. Say, hey, bookie, I took the trade. I, I sold half. I did exactly what you said. Don't wait for me. Sometimes I'm not paying attention. Sometimes I'm doing live sessions and maybe something's taken and then I'm not paying attention to it. You know, I'm only, it's only me guys. But, uh, but yeah, don't wait for me on these trades. Just like the spy puts we bought today. You know what? If these go up, if these fly to three bucks, get the hell out. Take the hundred bucks. You know, if you bought one contract. You know, it's not that for me. It's not, you know, I'm going light on these trades, guys. I'm not going all in or going heavy positions. Finally, guys, O'Reilly's coming back a little bit. Um, AutoZone, AZO, finally. Gosh, down 16 bucks today. Pfft, that's another one that just keeps going and going and going. It drives me nuts. 
Uh, Mr. The Best Eggs is still up uh, 108. Yeah, nice, Marcos. Good job on that one. Yeah, just hold that one. I think we have more pain to come. If the market sell, pff, everything's going down, guys. Uh, let's see. Um, in my opinion, Keo uh, curling over um, an all-time highs, an upper weekly trend line, shorted at four. Yeah, there you go. We're in that one, too. <laughs> Hell, yeah. Let's see here. You know what? All right, let's look at K. Yeah, look at that right there, guys. 50, even number. That was it. Damn. I, you know, there's your trend line, though. Great call on that one. Look at that. Look at that trend line, guys. It's yeah, After so many times, I think that's going to be the next leg down on this one. Gosh. I missed that. I missed that freaking entry. Damn it. But that's okay. You know what? We don't get them all. But yeah, B Rabbit, hold on to that one. That one's easily going to be coming down forty-five dollar stock. I mean, unless the markets stay buoyant, guys. If the markets stay buoyant, then uh, then uh, yeah, everything can go up. <laughs> you know, we're going into the holiday session. That's the only wild card for me on these on these trades right now. We're going into the Thanksgiving, Hanukkah. Christmas, New Year's Eve, you know, the Santa Claus rally. They're already talking about it on CNBC. You, you watch. They're going to be hyping it. They're going to if we get if we get some major selling with Nvidia in the next couple of days, they're going to bring out everybody next week. All the bulls, they might even bring out Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be throwing the kitchen sink out. Anything, something, something to save the markets. You're going to see that, guys. It's going to be funny, funny stuff. And that, that's how it works. I've been calling Buffett and uh, Tepper for about a week and a half now. Come on. And, and we get more pain. Here they are. Hi, I'm Warren Buffett. I'm worth $72 billion, So I'm just going to keep buying. I don't care. If Apple goes to 10 bucks. I'll buy more. You know, he can do that. We can't. I have a pretty decent size account, guys. And, you know, I still say, hey, if I'm going to take a position, I'm going to um, uh, go in with, uh, you know, say say a $50,000 position. I'm going to start with 10 grand, maybe five grand, depending on the uh, depending on the trade, guys. You know, you got to watch out for this stuff. And, you know, once you get, um, you know, it, into one of these trades, you don't want to hold on. You know, you got to know what you're doing. Don't just, just get into a trade going, all right, I'm just going to do this. But you got to know your position size. You got to know how much money you're willing to risk. And once you have those factors in, then uh, hold on here, guys. And then work it slow and steady, kind of like AZO. I knew I wanted to do, you know, X amount of dollars in that trade. So I'm going to start with this. I'm going to start with that. I'm going to go slow and steady on that, inching my way to my full position or 10% of my total portfolio, guys. That's it. You know, in, in any share trade, I do 10% total at the max. Right now, I'm doing, I'm going a little bit smaller even because of the markets and the conditions. All right, Alex, I know if you're in here, I sent you that link. Those options came back to 185. Now they're 215. So, don't tell me you can't get those. <laughs> she's a new member, and I just want to make sure she's getting in those. And I get that. You know what? When I post a trade, guys, okay, like anything, say say in uh, KO, say I got in at forty nine bucks today, just to say, goes up to fifty, short it. You're, you got a buck better entry than my price. You know, if you can wait patiently, sometimes these it hits and goes. Well, let's look at Netties because that was a trade that we took. So Natties, we took the short today. It was a pretty good trade. Uh, we went in a little bit before the 240 area. And then as it went up, you know, everybody had that alert already. So they knew around this 240 area, you know, I was going short. This thing pops up, you could probably have a better entry than me. My average price was 240.67 and it tanked. But someone could have had 241.70. Someone could have went only one time in at 241. So, you know, I'm trying when I put the trades out there, you know, keep an eye on them still because they could still go against me and they do. But if you could get a better entry than me, awesome. 
You know, unfortunately, I'm the guy posting stuff, and sometimes, sometimes they don't work. But I mean, look at this trade, guys. Daily chart. It was running in some big resistance right here. Look at that. Right here was the area. Anywhere around 240, 242, 239, to even 238 wasn't bad. And if it went up on us, 250 would have been the next area. So I know that we could have been 10 bucks in pain here on this trade. So you don't want to go too crazy on these. Then look at the weekly. Weekly, we still had, I mean, it wasn't telling us too much other than, you know, we have a little bit of a W pattern, but the resistance was right in there. If we take a fib on here too, you know, 235, 236 area as well, had the Fibonacci on there. So as this thing's blasting up, you gaps up, you have the 618, you have the 240 even number, you have these high pivots, you have the the gap window up here at 240, 170, which it just, I, you know, sometimes you wish you want, you know, I wish I could have waited for that. But this options X guy, sometimes they fall short of these areas and then they pull it back and they want people to chase it down so they could pop it back up. But you got to be careful, guys. Got to be careful. Yeah, KO, I like that trade, B-Rabbit. That's awesome. So rock and roll on that one. Short snap, if it pops 20%, I, I, I snap now. Short snap, I showed you guys right here. I mean, you, you can. I'm not doing it. Sure, the short was right here at 20 bucks. I mean, you're going to short a stock after that? I mean, I mean, I guess it could go lower. But if they get a buyout or anything, this thing's going to pop. Um, KO, if we hit the 10, short it. Uh, maybe a 10. I, I still wouldn't. This is, this is, you would have been short in here or short in there. I don't know. I mean, short the high flyers, not the ones that are at lows. I mean, I, I guess if it pops the 10, you can. But again, if if it gets a buyout, this thing can this thing can rip your head off. Um, Ko, thank you. It cannot be bought out because the shares have no voting rights, John. Okay, I don't know. Great, could care less <laughs> to be honest with you. I'm just saying, you know, who knows? They get they start getting rumor. It doesn't mean they can't pump out rumors on this one. Just like Options X guys, it's all rumors. China trade, almost close. Mexico, Canada trade, almost close. Trump's meeting with them this afternoon, we promise. You know, all that good stuff. So that maybe our snap shorts are so confident. Oh, maybe. Who knows? And also, Evans say the company going to be independent for the next five years. Yeah, I don't know. I don't follow any news, guys. I watch CNBC just for entertainment. I follow the charts. Um, UNG. Yeah, nothing to do with UNG, guys. Everybody's, you know, that's all they're talking about now. But look what it did, guys, right to that hot, right to those highs. We talked a bit. Is there a gap? Uh, there's a gap. There's a gap window there. But we talked about this high pivot yesterday. There. That's where it went to. So, um, I don't know. This could have been one of those bounces where you take your damn money and run, and now everyone's sitting in it think it's going to go higher. It, it could. But for me, it, the, the, move, the move was right there. Done. Um, nothing to do for me here. That was all maybe news right here. They were talking about, I think, Russia and the natural gas and, oh, my gosh, it's a shortage or whatever the hell they were talking about. And then you get the pop. That would have been the profit right there and done. Just kind of like Tilray, too. Take the money and run. Everybody's sitting in these things, you know, waiting and waiting for news. Gosh, you get a pop like that, take it. You're in from 25 to 40, take it. Um, let's see. Uh, you think Apple will pull back more? Uh, maybe. I don't know. You know what? I'm waiting for setup. I mean, it had a hell of a pullback. We're in the great support. 618, 180 even, or 190 even number, 50 uh, MA on the weekly. This could definitely bounce. But guys, I, I it's going to be based on uh, NVIDIA tonight. You saw when NVIDIA was tanking in, in back months ago. NVIDIA was pulling back here, it was pulling back the markets. When NVIDIA was pulling back here, it was pulling back the markets. NVIDIA was pulling back here, it was pulling back the markets. NVIDIA is pulling down, it's going to pull back the markets, guys. It's up here, maybe some shorts squeezing because the shorts are like, you know what? If you short it up here, you're starting to cover. I mean, you have a hell of a trade. You got a $100 trade in here. Shorts are like 100 bucks. I'm taking the money. So you might be getting a little short squeeze going into earnings today. Again, it's a 50-50 shot. I have no idea what NVIDIA is going to do. If it pops, we'll probably look at the, look in the short it again. But I don't know going into the holiday season, maybe not. Maybe January or so. But, you know, just keep an eye on these guys. 
all right, guys, our options are doing pretty good on those puts, on the spy puts. You know, if we get another pullback, these things could go up 50%. If they go up 50%, I might start pulling my position off and pull off the spec play and say, you know, I, I'm going to take the money and say thank you very much <laughs> and then then move on. But yeah, Apple though, guys, it's all let's see what we let's see what happens with Nvidia. If, if Nvidia falls, Apple's dropping, guys. If Nvidia pops, we could still get a pop here. I mean, they even put David Tapper out there. I bought more Apple. <laughs> I sold all everything and I bought Apple only. I did. I really did. But we filled the gap. We have great support down here. Um, we're still below the twenty or two hundred MA on the daily, though. We haven't confirmed down here. We haven't, you know, we don't have a confirming uh, uh, trend in this yet. But you know, we still have a gap fill here, and I, I still think we we got some major gaps to fill down in this area too. So um, it's all going to be based on Nvidia tonight, guys. Bottom line, based on the last DR. Um, no, nah, I don't. The DR it, it was okay. Everything's based off the uh, the spy trade right now. Spy queues go down. Everything's going down. Uh, these options just hit 238 now, guys, on the puts. So if you're members, um, just just keep an eye on them. God, these could really fly. If the market's dumped to lows, we, we, we might get 100% on these. We'll see. Uh, let's see here. Assuming in in short on KO. Yeah, we're, yeah. Yes, Colin. We're short. We're short KO. Short or too risky. Um, Hold on. Twilio, no, I'm not. I'm not touching that one yet. I got to see more on this. I mean, I, you got a little bounce today, everyone. You know, it's Twilio. You got to, you got to buy. I want to see. I want to go higher. We're we're still holding half the uh, swing short. We covered down in here. Um, we did our short day trade. That that you know the day trade that turned into a couple day hold. You know that one. Uh, we're out of that one too. Um, let it go higher. If, gosh, if we could get it, you know, in around ninety three, ninety four again, I'm shorting again, guys. Just keep rinsing and repeating. But this one, no. Nothing to do on this one yet. We're just consolidating here above the ear. You're above the MA. So on the intraday chart, you're a little more strong. You're in a stronger stance. It's going to be a little bit harder for this one to fall because you've got great support there. And actually, this is setting up to possibly go higher. But again, you know, it's it's going to follow the spy and everything. If the spy starts to get wrecked, the, this will calm down. But look at even the 60 minute here. Um, uh, Brian, look at the 60 minute. You're you're above the moving averages on here. See how they got it above, and that's where that's where it's home. So if it comes down, it's going to be a little bit tougher to come down because you got good support on the smaller time frames. So and you still have support down here too on the daily, you know, around the 81. So let let it, you know, if you're still in the swing trade with us, um, or or if you're not, you know, we're a little bit higher on the swing trade with our entry price. But uh, as long as it stays down in this area below 90, this thing's setting up for lower prices. Spy, ooh, spy's dumping, guys. 252 on those options. Alex, if you're in the room, I hope you got those. We're going to turn that small account of yours into a monster. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, yeah, we should be sold at uh, 240 even number. Yeah, um, Was that on the um, the netties? Yeah, there was huge resistance up there, Andy. That, that's where that's where I was looking at. See, I like those earnings plays. There's a couple other things I look at. I, I you know, I'll do the spec plays like with the spy option right now. Uh, we did the Amazon, we did the Facebook, we did the Tilray, but not, just no small positions, guys. That's it. Kept until two thirty-seven. Great, great trade on that one. Um, MCU or a McDonald's. Um, yep, coming down. We, um, I took a loss. I shorted calls on McDonald's. I should have went out till December. I lost like a buck fifty on the call position. Oh well, I got out. They expire tomorrow. I was gonna take. I was gonna be put the position and take the, take the shares. But you know what? I'm done. I, I just, God, I should have went out a little bit further. You know, I, I didn't think this thing had blasted through double top and just kept going. But you know what? There's losses in trading, guys. I shorted these um, options at. Uh, my average price was ten thirty nine, and we got out eleven sixty six. So I almost lost a buck on them. So I, I didn't get killed, but damn, just just wouldn't pull back, guys. But and the problem was when everything was going coming in Amazon and everyone was hopping into McDonald's for the safety hey, for the dividend play. So it just went up, 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 and just got me. And you know that's how some trades are. You know you got to watch out for the. For the Caterpillars, the 3Ms, the McDonald's, the Verizons, 
the Nikes, you know, the safe, the, the P, uh, J and J's, the, the PMs, everyone hops into those, you know, oh my gosh, I got to get into McDonald's. Have you had their food lately, guys? It sucks. <laughs> it, it sucks. They have new burgers though. They suck. So, um, high flyer still, we're still short with shares on a, um, swing trade getting stretched 162 is the price target and then if the markets go it's going to this thing, this thing will be a 150 dollar stock no problem so yeah be careful with this one if you you know if you're not short mcdonald's short it yeah I, i'm okay with that one so a little bit out of the money i think on this one yeah a little bit out of the money on this but i'm okay my price target is more around 150 so it's a monthly chart play guys this could take a couple months to pull back um s bucks i think that one's slow bleeding Short this one too as well, and it, you know it's taking its sweet ass time. You know you got double top here. Everyone's excited. You know it's it's Starbucks. They had good earnings. Hurry, it's going to. And then they'll up double upgrade it. You know they'll get an analyst on. Yeah, I think I could see Starbucks going to ninety. Not if the spy and everything goes down, pal. It's all a market trade. Markets start to pull back. This will start to pull back with it. Bottom line, guys. You know, that's why you just got to just got to make it, you know, a little bit easier on you. And remember, no more than 10 percent of your total portfolio. And remember, the spies pulled back in the last five days. What Starbucks done pulled back even because everyone who bought in this, they're already ended up here. Now, there's no buyers. Markets pull back. This is just going to be a slow bleed again. Starbucks monthly high flyer. Our price target right now is around 56 bucks, 55 bucks. If it really starts to come in, it will be a 50 dollar stock. In my opinion, I might not be, but that's what I—that's how I'm playing this thing. It could take a couple months, though, guys. I mean, you know, look at look at how this thing works. Goes up, retraces, goes up. This this one went up, click right back down. This one chopped around, fell down. I don't know what was this, and then straight back up, right in the double top. Um, you know, once we get below 64, 65 bucks down in here, then we should see some more selling. This is this is just get everybody on board at the highs like they do every other time, guys. Next thing you know, click and then straight down. Not that this one we're going into the holiday season, so it could be a little bit more you know rougher of a trade. But right now I'm in shares. I got time. I could care less. Not higher, lower still. Um, not not sure which one you're talking about, but X L and X seems to be a good short. Let's see. X L N X. Oh yeah, look at that. I don't know what is this thing. A million shares traded? Nah, not yet. Hundred bucks, guys. Hundred bucks. Let's see if we get a little bit more. Look at that though. Right, re almost a hundred percent retrace. Maybe even around ninety, ninety-five. Maybe you got some good resistance up in here. But yeah, uh, I like what you're looking at, Andy. But yeah, a little more, bud. We had the dot com boom back here. Gosh, if we could get to 95, keep that one on your radar, guys. If we get to a 95, 100, that's where we might start taking it. So, uh, hitting triple top, yeah. Um, this one here, yeah, I like, I, I do, I, I'm, you know, but you're still above the MAs on the daily, still in a strong stance. Let's see if we can get one more pop. When's earnings on this one? Maybe earnings will pop us to never, never land. This thing pops on earnings, and that's what you want to do on this one. Um, yeah, I, I see what you're saying here. I, I'd still like to see it go a little bit higher. I'm a member. How do I get trades? Are you on the uh, Twitter feed? That's where all the trades are, buddy. Um, if I, I sent you out an email, possibly check your spam folder. Uh, Sudan, Sudan, I, I think it is. Sudan. Um, yeah, if you're a member, um, yeah, uh, send me an email, stockbookie at gmail.com, and, and go follow me at, at stockbookie on um, on uh, Twitter, and I'll get you in the room. And I'll have to check if you're a member. So, or give me your email and all that stuff. But you should have got an email saying, hey, welcome to Stockbookie. Um, go follow me at Twitter, but all my stuff's on Twitter. All right, we're pulling back some more, guys. Options are doing good. Puts are doing good. We go right back to the lowest, guys. I might be out of this trade. Um, yeah, so uh, send me off an email, but I'll get you in that uh, Twitter feed. 
you know, let me know your uh, username and all that on the stockbookie.com site so I know who you are. Thoughts on ATVI? Yeah, we looked at this one yesterday, guys. <clears throat> They're just smashing this thing. <clears throat> Gosh, we're trying to catch a bit at 50 bucks. Uh, Marcus, go lower, guys. This is going lower, bottom line. Just be careful with this name. We talked about this one yesterday. I, I could see it being a $46 stock. If the markets really start to rumble, this one's going to 35 Sorry. Um, we shorted this one. This was a good short, high flyer, like all of them, guys. They're all flipping high flyers, guys. Um, you know, at 47, 40 is a pretty good area. The 46 with the 50 MA, but it, all said and done, markets start pulling back heavy. This will be a $35 stock. I'm not going long in a lot of stuff, guys. I'm waiting for the markets to catch some steam and go with the, you know, go the other way. Right now, I'm adding short positions because I believe the markets are pulling back some more. Once we find good support in the SPY, the Qs, and everything, then we'll go long. Simple as that. <clears throat> uh, wish I got those SPY puts. We'll learn. Uh... Oh, that's Natalie. Yeah, uh, you didn't get that? Damn it. Come on, Natalie. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, yeah, darn it. Ah, look at that. They're at 249 now. I mean, even there, you, you buy, you know, $1,000 worth, it's a 249 Get the hell out if you're taking a little bit bigger position. Yeah, but they did come back. See what I'm saying, though, Natalie? How they came back. Now you got the end. So don't, you know, if I take a trade and it things up, don't chase it. Let it come back. A lot of times they do come back, and you'll get a better entry than me. And then boom, here they are, 250 now. Gosh, we get a pullback, guys. These are going to these are going to four bucks today. <laughs> oh my gosh. But uh, hey, thanks for signing up too. Uh, Lulu thoughts. Let's see. Lulu. Um, yeah, another high flyer, guys. Um, gosh, uh, it is coming in. I mean, if you want to short this, you can. I'd wait for earnings. If it pops on earnings, short short with both hands. This this will be coming down. It's just a matter of time, guys. It's Lulu. This thing went from forty six dollars to one sixty three. I just it's here's your price target ninety two right now. But I'd wait. I know. I think they have earnings coming up. Wait for the pop. Most likely they'll be better than expected. They get the pop, short it. But yeah, this one's going to take time. If you're going to buy puts, you got to go out six months. This thing's just been just killing the shorts. Even got me a couple times, guys. I, in a million years, guys, forty-seven to one sixty, Lulu, and that's it's that's stu It's getting to be stupid at this point. This is going to be a ninety-dollar stock and then seventy-dollar stock again when it's all said and done. So if you're if you're if you're long this one, tighten those stops up. If it pops on earnings, take the profit. This is one I'll be looking for the pop and then the fade on earnings. I'll be shorting this bad boy. Um, if I made $30 off the KO trade, I'll be signing up for the month membership. <laughs> Come on, Colin. Did you sign? I, I thought you did. Did you sign up? I thought you did sign up. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you you must have checked it. Check your spam folder. Uh, so then I'm really bad at pronouncing names, guys. I, I, I'm uh, mentally challenged from that aspect. <laughs> so... Um, S A U D D I N. Um, yeah, if you're a member, send me that info and I'll get you in there. Yeah, you got to be in my Twitter feed, bud. Let me check. Did you send anything to me? Um, gosh, or send me your email too, so I could check you out. And make sure you're legit. I'm sure you are, but I got to check. I got a lot of people that want to follow me and come in. Hey, what's up, Carmela Wilson, bud? What's up, dude? But the ATVI, be careful with that one, Chainer. Yeah, you got that. That thing could be, uh, that thing's just falling like a rock, guys. All right, let's see here. Make, yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, XEL, back up to near monthly highs, just a dollar off from the highs. Let's see. XEL. Is that, a, that could be a ETF maybe, XEL. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Um, wow. I like it. Um, is that that's an ETF, right? All right, I don't even know. Let me look. Every day you aren't in his trades, you are losing money. <laughs> yeah, Gary, thanks, bud. Yeah, Gary, we he's he's a member too, and we we 
we know, you know, I, I've helped him out at Netflix. That was a beast. You know, we got through that trade. CMG still eating dirt on that one, but that, that one will be fine. Um, are you short NVIDIA today? No. Um, I, you know, may, maybe a put maybe, but yeah, I, I'm, I got puts in the spies, guys, as a spec play. If NVIDIA dumps, everything's going down tomorrow. So I, I bought a couple puts on the – look at those. Look at those puts, guys. If you're in those as a member, we got in at 185. They're at 270 now. <laughs> Woo! So if you want to take some profits, if you took a bigger position than I did, I, I tell people to take one or two contracts, small positions. If you went and, and a little bit wild on those, take some money off. Don't be sitting in it. If you did 10 contracts, take something off. Damn, we won't go broke taking profits, guys. Yeah, so this is an ETF, guys. Um, I like what um, Wilson put on there. Oh, it's the energy one. All right. Um, oh, man. not. Um, is it an inverse? Because as energy was going down, this is going up. Is this an inverse play? <clears throat> because I don't want to short this one if energy keeps going lower. I think it is an inverse ETF. Trying to trick me. Wilson, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it looks like it's going to catch it, but that, you know, I took off my USO short. Um, this could definitely hit it. If this hits it and goes back, if this is an inverse, is it an inverse? Excel, Excel Energy Inc. Oh no, this, no, it's not an inverse. It's just, it's uh, Excel Energy Inc. Yeah, it's just an energy company. Um, yeah, I like the area. Um, let's see if we could go a little higher though. Let's see if we could get up into the 55, 54 area up in here and then possibly a short. <clears throat> hey, Brian, I just got your email, buddy. All right, no, you got it. That's a day. I started with 30K, buddy. And remember, just sit back, learn. Yeah, kids are doing great. Everyone's doing awesome, man. We're going into the holiday season. Just got an email from Brian. Uh, you know, I, I I I appreciate it, guys. This is tough work. You know, it's it's the flipping. This the market's the beast, guys. It's the beast. Uh, I'm not sure, hundred per, not hundred percent sure. Yeah, no, it's a it's a. Um, I don't think it's an ETF. I think it's a company. Actually, I'm looking at. Um, I'm just looking at stock twits right now. Here. XL Energy Inc. E X E X E L right? X E L. I don't think this is an ETF. Um, our utility upgrades that that was upgraded today. No, it's it's just it's a, it's an energy company. It looks like. <clears throat> Pull that out. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I mean, I like that. I let's see if we can go a little bit more. Let me look at the daily real quick here. Yeah, look at that daily extension. You got this here. You got, hmm, double top right there. Gosh, it's whole, it's, it looks like it's trying to hold this one here. Yeah, let's see if we could go one more push up. If it could, if it could breach this double top, give it one good push. Maybe around 53, 54, we'll get this short trade. So keep an eye on this one, guys. Um, it's grinding higher. You're above the MAs. It's making, you know, made the low, higher low, good stance. I, I think it could possibly do 100% retrace here. If it does, then we'll look a little a bit higher. And remember, if the markets catch a bid, you know, we're gonna, it's going to be rough. You know, this one could go a little bit higher. So if you're going to take that trade, just remember, just go, you know, slow and steady, guys. If you're going to do a $10,000 position, you can start with 2500 right here. If it goes double top, 2500 If it goes to 53 54 Five grand, you're in, 10% position, boom. That's if you have a $100,000 account. Keep it simple, guys. Keep it simple. <clears throat> uh, wouldn't be surprised to see 264.70 today. I know, right, Carmela? I, I don't think that low, but let me tell you, if we start bleeding, we still got time. Yeah, I, I would say the lows of the day, 267. Remember, we got the gap fill still around the 268 area, so that's the part they're holding. But, yeah, I could I could see this thing dumping today. I just got here today. Awesome service, though. Natalie, thanks. Um, Caesar, John Wright. Uh, every day you aren't um, in his trades, you are losing. Yeah, thanks, Gary. Are you shorting NVIDIA today? Caesar, I, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, if I stick around, I'll probably do a live session while well, I'm almost an hour into it. Uh, maybe go an hour and a half, two hours today. 
Um, I'll, I'm going to make a decision at the end. Um, I believe you're a member. If you are, I'll post that trade. It'll be more of a spec trade. I, I just shorting. It's tough because it's beaten down, but it's such a high flyer. Nvidia. It, it could it could easily go down another fifty bucks. That's why it's like, but but everyone you know with the buy the dip mentality, and and everybody in the markets, all you gotta do is buy the dip. Everything's great. Buy the dip. Buy the dip. Where it's been working for years. Buy the dip, and then all of a sudden it doesn't work because you know everybody bought down here at two fifty, then two forty. And then down here at 200, and it kept going, and they're like, oh, my gosh, how low? And this is another short-term retrace, possibly more selling. Again, 50-50 with the earnings. That, that's how you got to play it. If you're going to play earnings, go you know, go, go small. Don't go crazy. If I do one, I'll buy one put or two puts and do it as a spec play. If I lose, so be it. If I get one for $500 or $1,000, hey, great. There's, I'll, I'll actually go to the casino then after that and, uh, you know, go play some blackjack. I like to play blackjack, guys. <laughs> I do. Um, looking at the Tilray. Still just can't uh, – four bucks the option. Still still caught a nice bid coming back in a little bit again. Um, the options, spy options, 251 now coming back in a little bit. Man, no. So we got this little push up. Gosh, if we push down, though, these will fly. Again, though, it's all based on NVIDIA, guys. NVIDIA bombs, these these will fly. If they don't, then looks like we're uh, making a deposit to the stock market. <laughs> so, um, dang, Mr. CMG short at 500 four days ago. Yeah, that thing's been a monster. I'm still in a short trade, just stuck in that one. Ah, oh, look at that, right to it. Ah, oh, damn, look at that. They, they, yeah, that was your area. I'm holding this one. You know, here you go. Another short-term retrace. Oh, it's CMG. And then it's going to go right back down, guys. So that, that's that been a tough one for me. CMG, I, I've had plenty of great trades on that one. This last one's been a little tough. I've shorted calls. I've done a lot of crap with this one. Even went long. But I'm, I'm holding strong with this one. This one's coming in pretty good. So, again, it's, it's not my first rodeo on this crap. Uh, let's see. CMG, yeah, be rabbit. Wow, that would have been a good one. Yeah, I missed that. You know, let me know. Pop, pop, pop me an email with this one. Shoot, you know, just let me know. Hey, you know, John, this thing's at this. Look, nice little topping tail too here. And we're straight back down. Good support. It's uh, 460 though, 450 area. So watch for that. Uh, if we take the retrace off this, look at that. So we had the 500 and the 750 retrace. Perfect hit. Uh, now let's pull that one down. This is coming off the lows. We're in the 382 as well. So you got some support coming up on this one, guys. 467, 460, 450, and then you got the 618 coming up. So um, nice push down, though. like that. This is a company. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that was a company. You got it. Uh, let's see. Shop had a nice pop today. Yeah, you know, I was looking at that one. I'd love to get back into this, but I just can't. It's got to go higher. I, I want to see it up in this area. I mean, it came off the lows. We had a short in this one. We, we're done with the short. Um Gosh. Do, do, let's see. Yeah, if we, could, if we could get up here, if we could get up in this area, I think we could do it again. Let, I mean, now it's in a strong stance. It's above the moving averages. Um, and and making a move. You know, it's, it's shop, guys. But it's shop, right? But now you're kind of, you're kind of in this channel. Look at this, though. You know, if you want to, you know, make a case, make a channel case, you know, so up, down, up, down. So do we get up back up to 164 and then they put the, you know, pedal to the metal to the downside? Let's look at the monthly and see if it's stretched. I think it was earlier. Yeah, it's still stretched though, guys. Look at this. Gosh. Um, Yeah, I mean, it easily could be $120 stock again. Kissed it here a little bit. Oh, yeah, let's see if we can get a retrace, guys. If we get if we could get to the 160s, 165 area, keep an eye on shop, Colin. That would be, you know, get that retrace back up and then boom. Well, guys, puts are going right back down. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, now now, you know, it is options X still. They might be starting shaking and baking us, you know, into the close. Um, look like we were starting to pull back a little further. Uh, so yeah, shop. If we could retrace one more time, we'll put another um, short on that trade. Go back to the spy. Let's get a handle on these markets here. 
Um, everything's catching a bit right now. Where, where are we guys right in the middle of lunch? Um, you know, buy program coming in. Look at all the indexes right now, guys. IWM moving up or maybe, maybe some news, maybe the, um, trying to kind of trade talk, right? Let's go. Let's go to CNBC. I don't have them on today. I'll punch them up on the, uh, something's going on here. Let's see. Breaking news. There it is. Facebook claims more price, fake news, da, 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 da. futures live stream. Ray Delio says the world is long stocks and that will mean trouble in a bear market. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Anything. What? So now, so wait a second here. Tepper sold its Apple position after the end of the third quarter, sources say. I thought he just said he bought more today. Huh. What? Shares of Apple inched lower following news of Apple exit more than 1% on Thursday. What? I thought I thought I saw something saying Tepper bought bought more. Hold on a minute here. I swear I saw that. He he, he sold this, sold that and went into Apple again. Huh. I don't know, maybe I read that wrong. I swear I saw something with him buying Apple. Well, apparently he sold Apple. <laughs> so who knows? So Facebook's getting a pop. Everything's getting a pop. There goes those options right in the basement again. So see, and that's why, guys, you know, that thing starts popping. If you have a big position, sell it. Don't even wait for me. So markets are going right back up. Options are going right back down. So these options hit a high of around 270, guys. They're at a buck 98 now. Awesome. So yeah, that's the you know this is options uh, X game playing action. Um, everything's getting a bid right now. So pretty much if you're short anything, everything's probably catching a bid as well. That's how it is, guys. It's a market trade. So spy goes up here. Check it out. Spy goes up. Everything else. So Facebook goes up. Why does it always put a B in there? Bastard. Facebook F B. Facebook goes up. Cat goes up. Apple goes up. Market trade, guys. Here we go. Something's coming on. Some Someone's doing something. Amazon's going up. Well, puts are in the basement now. So if you did buy those puts at 195, they are at 175 now. <laughs> oh, Buff, Buffett bought more? Nice. I saw it. Yeah, did you see that with the with the Tepper bought? And now, now they're saying he sold and maybe he bought again, maybe? I don't know. Maybe that's what they said. It was like, what? All right, let's look at AMAT. Yeah, everything's catching a bid right now, guys. Unbelievable. But where are we? We we have 65 million on the spy, so the volume's not that great, and we have options X, guys. So it looks like we're falling apart. Yeah, AMAT. Yeah, there's nothing to do. I mean, actually, it's coming in some good support down here on the monthly. Monthly could go a little bit further. Oh, it's holding the 200. But uh, look at that. Price. What have I been telling everybody with price targets on the weekly? 200 MA. Look where this thing was at one point, 62 bucks. If I would have told you at 62 bucks that the 200 MA would be the target around 33, you would be laughing at me right now. If this was up here, look at that though. Right to the right to the piece of crap. This is the fly. This is the turd. This is the cow turd. Goes right to it, especially when you haven't touched it since 2017. That's how these work. This was a nice one though. Gosh. Um, it could bounce here. If you want to take this trade, put a stop below 30 bucks. It's going to be a wide stop, $5 stop, but it's trying to catch a bid. The markets move higher. This this could get to 40. Gets to 40, then you better look out. That's where it's probably, you, you might you might get a little bit of a pierce and then the next leg down. But this is support down here, guys. If, if um, this is the time where this thing's going to go, it should be right here. If it can't start, you know, if it can't get out of its own way, then uh, look out below, guys. Um, let's look at the daily real quick, though. And daily, not bad. Staying above the 20, still below below the MAs here. But, uh, but, yeah, excuse me. Bottom line, if you can't get above the 36 area on a nice push and close on a daily chart, then most likely this thing's going to just roll over. Markets roll over, then it's going lower. All right, guys, five puts getting hammered now. What are you going to do? <laughs> Damn it. Should have just maybe should have just took it off, but no, I'm I'm playing these as a spec play, 
into the NVIDIA earnings. We, we're getting some monkeying around here. Options X, right in the, right in the middle of lunchtime. And uh, let's see the volume here. Yeah, see how volume's disappearing? Also, we get a bid. So I'm trying to see if there's any breaking news. David Tepper buys more Apple. <laughs> Um, yeah, sold it. I, I don't get that. I swear I saw Tepper buying more today. I was like, holy crap. So we got Buffett buying banks, Tepper buying Apple. It's like, oh, geez. Here we go. All we need was um, Siegel. Did anybody see Siegel today? And then the, the Brexit deal. That That's what's making these markets. Maybe, maybe we're close to the Brexit deal now. Remember, they're going to throw everything out there. Especially with the NVIDIA earnings. They're going to try to get these market, prop these markets up. So AMT, AM, AMAT, yeah, look like holding support. Yeah, it is holding support. But um, if it doesn't bounce there, it's going to be lower. Buffett bought more BS shorted. There's no options expiring today on the SPY. Yeah, you know what, though? You're just getting some game plan. That's all you're getting. I mean, look at this thing. Nice little bleed, and then pop goes the weasel. So, you know, everyone's going buying puts down here, and then they're just like, pff, squeeze. Tip, typical crap. That's why Options X, guys, I'm sitting on my hands. Um, you know, I'll, I'll go small positions like this. They're at a buck fifty-five now. Again, you know what? If you're in a $185 position, one one contract, big deal. That's why I tell everybody, pff, you know, just just sit on your hands. This Yeah, this, it was like, whoa, look at that. Look at that nice little bleed, and then pop. So there's got to be news or something out there. Maybe a buy program going because look, look at all the indexes are doing the same shit. IWM, DIA, <clears throat> um, Q's, same, same thing. So Q's getting, you know, people are probably piling in because of the NVIDIA trade. <laughs> Ding it. Holy cow, if this thing goes down, look out below. So whatever, you know, same crap. IYT's flying. IY, the transports are up 118 now. Uh, everything's fixed. Hurry. Everything's fixed now, guys. Got to hurry. Don't be shy. Hurry. Everything's fixed. You know, it's got to be China. China trade deal. Hurry. <laughs> so, anyways, whatever. It's, it's just, um, it's funny, this stuff. Let me tell you. All right, guys. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna do. <clears throat> Q's. Uh... uh, give me a second here, guys. I'm just looking at a couple things right now. So the cues are coming up to here. Uh, maybe, maybe we get a little more of a push. We'll see. Um, you know, I like playing the spec plays. Um, I'm looking at the cues right now too for possibly doing something here. And then uh, we'll see how this works out. So. All right. All right. Anyways, all right. You guys know, let's see here. Um, option expiration day, China news. Uh, is it China news right now? Oh, God. They're close, guys. They're close. Hurry. They're close. So, anyways, um, let's see. MRKM, PFE, high flyers on weekly. All right. Let's take a look. Uh, what are they? MRK. Yeah, I think we, we, we looked at this one believe so or we got this one on our radar mrk yeah we're looking at um i mean we did get a small bounce today i'm looking a little i'm, I'm trying i'm i you know we entered a lot of positions in the last week or so um yeah i mean this that's not bad Oh yeah, this is why. Yeah, there you go. Because you got you got. Oh yeah, that, that we're gonna wait on this one. 
I, I want to get maybe 80, 85. I would love in the 90 area. That That's why we're not doing anything with this one yet. I like it. Just not there yet, guys. Let's see if we could push a little bit more. Not looking for much, but just a little bit more. Uh, Mark, yeah, I like that, though. I like what you're looking at. Yeah, this one, too, a little bit more. Gosh. See the 40? Yeah, 50 bucks on this one right there. Keep that on your calendar, guys. 50 bucks for the PFE. It's getting there, though. I, li I like what you're looking at. I mean, 30, 36 is the price target, but if we could get one more push, check on earnings on these, guys. Yeah, we're getting a bid in these markets, guys, so be careful. Shit. Unbelievable. Oh, the news-driven crap. Yeah, but, yeah, I like that. MRK, I like these two. Um, a little bit more on these, especially going through the holidays if we get the float. Um, the, this could possibly flow higher. Everything will flow higher, guys. But as, as we're taking these spec plays, you know, these puts for tomorrow and, you know, quick, you know, uh, short-term expirations, guys, go light on these positions, guys. You got the markets popping up right now. And, you know, with a, what do we have, two and a half hours left. You know, could they be shaking and baking people? A lot of people go short because the market looks like it's rolling over. We're going more spec plays off the NVIDIA trade. If NVIDIA goes up, our puts will go down. It's as simple as that. The SPY ones will be uh, will be demolished most likely, but make sure they're just small positions, guys, period. Tell me industry executives, next trance of China tariffs already on hold. Is that, yeah. Yeah, but we'll, we'll see how this goes. You know, it's all it's all news right now, guys. Everything's news driven um, right now. You know, we're getting a pop in the markets. Um, so just uh, sit on your hands. Let's see where this can, can drive us. You know, they're trying. They got it. They're trying to save these markets, guys. Period. I mean, we hit the low. We 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 did fill the gap though today, guys. Now we're getting a push up. We made a low, higher low. We are holding the moving averages. Now this is the next big area. This is where we broke down yesterday around 272. So we got to look at that one. You know, will this, you know, we'll, we'll see. Something's going on here. Look at the volume coming in. You know, it's like, oh, my gosh, we got something. Go, 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 go. So we got every, you know, everyone's buying, you know, going short here, too. And they're pushing. They got to push through this area, guys. This is what they're trying to do now. Push, Jerome, push. Uncle Jerome, push. We get higher prices on the news. <laughs> I'm going to put that one right there. So we got the 200 MA coming up, and we have the trend line coming up as well. 60-minute, um, not too much until 275. This one's at 274, so we'll see if this one holds. Yeah, so spy puts are getting hammered right now. You know, just like I said, you know, a lot of people are trying to buy puts like we are, and then this is what happens, guys. It's awesome. Love it. But, you know, those, those options pop to 270. If you, if you want to take profits, take the money and run. So, damn it, you know, God, I can't, can't just get one nice, easy trade. Got to get hammered. Yeah, so these options go into the basement now. <laughs> so, ah, uh, suck. So, let's see here. Hold on, guys. I'm just looking at a couple things right now. What, have, what do we got here? Gosh, what's bouncing these markets? I, I don't know what they're trying to do here. But uh, let's see. So give me a second, guys. Just remember, if you guys have a symbol, punch it in. Let's take a look and uh, see what we can do here. Take a look, long or short, I don't really care. I'm just looking at a couple things here, guys. We got the IWM, we got everything popping right here. All right, so we're holding that 272 area. That's the area where we broke down yesterday. All right, so let's see here. So we pop up, we get in there. Oh, let's see here.
I'm just trying to keep an eye on these puts too, guys. See, I like this area too right here. Yeah, look at that. So they're at, uh, yeah, they're getting hammered a little bit now. So not terrible, but let's see here. All right, so they went down a little bit more. Oh, my gosh, I like this area, too. Look at this. They pop it right up in the resistance where they sold it off yesterday. Um, let's see. Let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Go on a holiday? Yeah, right. Uh, let's see here. All right. Can you do IBB or XBI? Uh, yes. If you're in a huge profits, why not close some shorts? Raise cash in case and just to start. Um, no, I mean, I, I the huge profits. Andy, I usually, I'm looking for 5 to 10% profits. That's it. Especially on the um, on the short trades with shares. I don't look for huge profits. I look for my 5, 10% get the hell out onto the next trade. Uh, we're pushing up a little bit more, guys. Um, that China trade news, maybe. Maybe that's what's making this go up. Or or maybe they're making this go up with the NVIDIA. Maybe NVIDIA, they know um, they're going to have bad earnings, so they're going to try, try to prop this thing up as high as they can. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. We'll, we'll see, though. We'll see. Yeah, I added some puts too, Carmella. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm still keeping it small, but, man, it, it's just, this is incredible. We get this rally. It's just like, ma, mama mia, right? All right, I want to look at the IWM, too. Hold on. Let's look at the IWM. Just trying to see here. All right, we're up into there. Let's take this off. Remember that NVIDIA will set the tone for tomorrow's markets, guys. If it has good earnings, that's another good reason. They'll probably throw that out. Try China trade talk. Um Brexit's close to a deal. You know, they'll, they'll start throwing everything out. <laughs> everything. And then, and then the kitchen sink and all that. And then, and then Tepper will come back out. And Siegel will have to poke his head out tomorrow. Definitely. Siegel will be like, hey, guys, it's me. Jeremy Siegel. Um, yeah, markets look good. Buy the dip. <laughs> you know. That, that's what he'll come out to say. He'll be like, buy, just buy the dip. Don't worry. Uh, hold on, guys, a second. I'm just looking at some other trades here. All right, hold on. I'm going to go one more here. IWM. All right, there's another one. There's another one, guys. <laughs> so, all right, so let's get back into it. IBB or X. I'll do the IBB. That's the one I usually follow. Um, IBB guys, um, nice little bounce here. Let's look at the monthly. Monthly, you know, we talked about this area for a while. Nice retrace, almost to the top. Boom, right back down. Um, I think uh, if everything gives it up, this will be an eighty dollars stock again. Uh, if it does not hold this uh, hundred dollar area, one hundred four area where it is right now, let's look at the month or let's look at the weekly. Um, yeah, if it does not hold this area, guys, this this thing will be an eighty dollars stock again or ETF, whatever you want to say. We have some good support around the $100 even number, um, good support around the 92, 93 area. But at the end of the day, this this will be an $80 stock again when everything comes in. 
I'm still thinking, guys, we're going to fall in these markets. I mean, look at this. It's doing the same thing as the indexes are doing. Small retrace, back down to more pain. Small tree retrace, right back to more pain. You're below the MAs on the daily. Weak stance, holding double bottom. I think we get another short-term retrace possibly and then the next leg down. If the SPY and everything gives it up, the IWM cues, this will be going lower, period. The only thing that could save these markets now is the holiday rally, guys. If we get it. Everyone's so conditioned that every year we get the Santa Claus rally. Will we get it this year? I don't know. You know, hard to say. But, yeah, I mean, we're, we're right at really good support here. If the hundred dollar area gives out, guys, we're going to ninety, then eighty, eighty bucks. Uh, let's look at the monthly again, though. Yeah, look at that. God, look at the retrace, though. Beautiful retrace. Got some follow through, but man, right there, that's where it ended. Ended the run, and that's an ugly sell right there. You get a bar like that. That usually leads to lower prices, guys. I mean, just like we got this long gated bar, that long gated, we retrace and then sold off and then read kind of chopped and then slowly grinded. You know, from 2016 on, the market's just caught a bid. Then we retrace right back almost to double top and then lights out again. So, just, you know, if you're in profits, guys, just take just take profits, guys. <clears throat> but, yeah, the IBB, be careful with this one. This one's setting up for fast possible lower prices. Indexes fall. This one will be an $80 stock. All right, so be careful with that one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, why not close some shorts? Yeah, I do, and I close shorts all the time. I get profits, I take them. Go on a holiday, yeah, you got it. Just added some puts here. Yep, me too, Carmela. Pigs, yes, they are. <laughs> Could it be oil? <clears throat> uh, possibly. Um, RH for earnings. Um, RH? We were short this one. We took the money and ran. Um yeah, earnings hard to say. When when is earnings on this one? Here, I'll I'll take a look. <clears throat> let's see what's earnings today. Let's let's take a look at earnings here. Um, <clears throat> do they have earnings today? Rh, when's when's earnings on that one, Natalie? So we have Nvidia today, Amat today, JWN today, um, Sono, a couple other ones. Nothing that great, but NVIDIA is the big one, guys. That's the one we're watching. And if that thing goes, uh, since the last earnings, short sellers have been increasing their positions. And, yep. <laughs> um, yeah, pulling back a little bit. Nothing crazy. But NVIDIA is the big one today, though, guys. When's the um, earnings on the RH? That That's what we got to look at. But RH, we shorted this one. Um it, it got a nice little bounce off a of double bottom. Nice, nice little uh, uh, retrace to these highs. And um, we did break this pivot, so that's slightly more bullish. But we came right back down after it, you know, tried got everyone on board again, and they shaking them out again, and then now kind of stalling it out. Um, if earnings are coming up on this one, there's really nothing to do. If it does pop, I'd probably short it, you know, up into the 150 area, 156, maybe double top. Um, if it stays down and comes right down in the big areas of support, you're going to look at as 104 and then down in here about 96, 98. So right now you're kind of in the middle of the uh, range where, you know, it could go up, could go down. Uh, let's look at the monthly, get a big, a little bit bigger, bigger uh, area here. I mean, target right now would be about 95 bucks. Let's we'll see how we went up. Now we came down. So it, it could pop on earnings, maybe 150. I'd probably short it if it drops. God, I would I would probably look at the 75 area for for maybe a long this it might bounce at the 195 here but it, this is another trade where you got to line it up if the markets are grinding higher and this thing's falling then you could possibly get a better bounce if the markets are grinding lower and this thing falls then you're looking for lower prices it's going to be a market trade guys that's how you got to play these trades December 3rd for RH, yeah, so you got a little bit of time on this. Uh, we were short this. We're already done with this trade, but, um, yeah, nothing to do right now, <clears throat> especially with earnings coming up. If the markets pull back, this will continue lower. If the markets catch a bid and grind through the holidays, then this will go higher. Watch for the December 3rd earnings. If this thing pops on earnings, short it. If it drops on earnings, markets are staying uh, green. Then we'll be looking for bounce areas to go long. Right now, it came off the double top. That's what it did. That's why we went short. <clears throat> Look what it did. Went up, retraced to the highs again. We went short, got out, and then now it's just kind of chopping. But honestly, on the weekly, it's just a little bit, little bit more bearish. 
um, 75 would be the price target. If we get there, they need, that would probably be a buy. But you see a lot of some of these stocks where they're hitting the 200 and they're just stalling out, not going anywhere. So that's the other thing you got to watch for. Yeah, Marcus, they're trying. Come on, Uncle Jerome, you can do it. Get these stocks higher. Woo, everyone's going short, so make sure you squeeze it higher. <laughs> uh, Matt, uh, bullish Harmony on the Apple Daily right at the top. Uh, TL support, waiting for confirmation on Apple. Um, let's see. <clears throat> um, Apple's holding support here on the weekly. You have the 618. You have the uh, 190 even number. You have Warren Buffett buying more. You have a bid catching in the markets. You have a lot of stuff going on where this thing can bounce. They have to get Apple up. The big part on Apple is the daily chart, 200 moving average. You got to get it above that. And then you got to bring it and start filling some of these gaps up here. If you could get above 200, then maybe higher prices. Again, guys, NVIDIA will be the one that directs these markets. If NVIDIA has a good good earnings report, then we'll probably go up. If NVIDIA has a bad earnings report, this one will probably stall because they got to hold Apple up. But if the markets start you know, dribbling again, this one's going to go right back down. I, you know, I still I still think it's going to hit 180 before it's all said and done. If that area cracks, then you better just tighten those stops. 160 is going to come real quick. But again, you know, they, they, they brought out everybody, guys. Buffett, Tepper, Siegel will be next. Every Apple bull, every Every bull out there is out, you know, hey, well, all time to buy the dip. You know, then NVIDIA misses, and then it's going to be like, whoa. So NVIDIA is going up right now. Let's see what happens with that. Let that thing grind higher, and then we're going to see what we can do with NVIDIA possibly. Possibly take a spec play, maybe a couple puts or something, maybe maybe some calls. Who knows? I want to see right that thing right before the close, about 10 minutes into it. But yeah, um, trend line support. I, I mean, you got you, you got support right here. Regardless, you got the gap filled here too. So it could bounce. Big big area. You got to get above the two hundred MA first on the daily, and then we'll take it from there. Because right now we're just kind of chopping around down here, slow bleed. You know, everybody hated Apple five days ago. And now everybody's like, oh, buy Apple. I mean, I just well, Buffett and Tepper bought and Tepper. I, I still can't find that. I got I got to look a little deeper in that one. Well, strong push. I don't think it's pushing through that. Um, maybe. We'll see. I, I get uh, the weird NVIDIA earnings feeling, push up and dump after batter. Maybe. We're going to see Brian with that. That's why, you know what, I'll, <laughs> I got a couple puts on the on the indexes now, and we'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Remember, if you guys can't take the pain, just, just go one put per position. You know, if you can't take a $1,000 loss, then don't do anything right now. These are all spec plays, 50-50 uh, shots, just like the casino guys. Um, ES-230 is coming, in my opinion, 2730. Uh, possibly we're going to see, I mean, it, it, we're, we're getting a, the light volume action and we're getting a push up daily chart. Now we're into the 20 MA. That's what they could be pushing it up over. You know, here we go. We're getting another push guys. Uh, no volume. It's great. Here we go here. That was the first area. They got it. You know, that we stall. See how we stalled out right here. Now they got to keep this going. There's gotta be news coming out. Any breaking news guys. Anybody see anything? got to be something out there you got another guy here scary moments the the debt bubble and headed for some scary moments <laughs> yeah but that teppers that's funny though <clears throat> unless he sold and he's buying more that's the only thing i could think which hey 30 40 bucks lower why not but uh we're trying to get a push on the spy everything's getting a push guys um there you go you know just out of the blue get some volume in these markets but see how it's starting to subside now Starts to come in a little bit now. We got three minutes left of this 10 minute candle. This is a 10 minute time frame, guys. So we'll see if we could push through. But yesterday, this is where we sold. This is where some good resistance is right here, guys. So we'll see if that holds. And as we speak, right back down. Damn, look at that, guys. <clears throat> uh oh. Someone, some bears coming in now. Remember, we're still in light volume, 74 million. Not that great. Wow, look at that. Some someone's coming in and dumping in their faces. Now remember, if you have 10 million shares of the spy, would you sell it down here? Or would you sell it up here? You know, if you're if you're distributing, so we're gonna see. Just hold tight to the put positions we have, and then go from there. Uh, Nvidia, if Nvidia has great earnings, puts and everything will get crushed. Oh yeah, totally. I know that. Uh, like 2015, think Christmas will be canceled. Yeah, yeah. Remember that? Right, right at right after the markets just started dropping. Oh, that, that was fun. <laughs> I think I'm seeing a trend here. Most stocks going into ER. 
that are going to be to usually sell off. Yeah, not all of them, but yeah. But that's why, you know, that's like like with Netties today. You know, let let it let it go up. Great. We're gonna look for areas of short. We hopped on that thing short and uh pulled the trigger, guys, and we got paid. So if you if you just came into the room, uh, me and the members, we shorted Netties today <clears throat> right off the uh 240 area, got our 10 bucks and we're out. We're the trade's over. But the reason why we took the trade, if you look at the daily here, you have great resistance right there in the 242 area. You have to take, you have to give it a shot, guys. Could have went up another 10 bucks in our face, but at that point, you know, you got to give, you got to give that trade a shot. <clears throat> so if you took that trade, you're a member, you had to have made money. I had a couple members say they made 700, 400 bucks. Awesome. <clears throat> December 3rd for RH. Yep. Thanks, Natalie. I didn't know Nvidia had uh, that much of it. Yeah. You know what? I, I don't know. You know, but remember when NVIDIA was dropping that one time about 15 bucks or so out of the blue? I don't know what it was, but the markets were tanking too. And as video was falling, the markets were getting pulled. And I, I'm not sure why it has that much impact. But a lot of people are in that trade. That was one. It's AI. It's the best, you know, the stock of the year. Maybe that's why. But my gosh, when that thing was tanking. <clears throat> I don't know what when that was, but it was like, whoa, you know, and, and again, I, I didn't really notice it until it really started coming in. And I think it might have been <clears throat> these days here, you know, on the uh, 2 five of 2018, this big sell off here. But when this thing was dragging down this this one here, it was coming in really good. <clears throat> I mean, 2004, let's go to 2004. <clears throat> <clears throat> or two thousand or two like right yeah because that's when this thing was tanking too and that's and the video was driving it down too and then it came up and video was selling down here and then boom straight up so it's looking pretty much like the same action i still think we're coming right back down though guys we'll, we'll see i you know it, it still is the stock market you know <clears throat> everything's a 50 50 shot <clears throat> yeah you got to remember though caesar is options x so you might not find anything but a little bit of a buy program, try to get these things out of here. So you got to remember, a lot of people were going short down here. They start squeezing them again. It comes in, they kind of get relaxed, and then they squeeze them again. We did make a low, a higher low. Now, if we take out this low, if this thing comes right back in and takes this low out, then I think we could get back to the lows. Now, remember, this was the last next big area right here of resistance. You know, this is where we're stalling out. I mean, they're trying. Let me tell you, volume's coming in, so someone's trying to push something. They just need uh, maybe a Trump tweet or something. You know, they, they need something. Some China, they need trade news, Canada, Mexico trade news, anything. The Brexit deal's close. We we promise. May's been talking. I mean, it's close. You know, just like they they, they came out with a tr China trade deal, what, a month ago? That they're they're in the office, they're about to sign it, and still nothing done. And then three months before that, Trump's talking to China again. They're close to a deal. Markets rally, and then they fizzle out. It's it's like wow. So it's like any excuse to get the markets up, basically at this point. Um, yeah, no news. So I'm getting everyone so they could get slammed. Out. Yeah, that's the only, that's the other thing. Are they getting this thing up for the Nvidia miss? I don't know. Hedge fund dumped its entire stake of Apple, and the billionaire expected to purchase the Carolina Panthers. Uh, may, you know, I, I saw something with that. Maybe that's what they were saying. I swear I saw something that that, that showed Tepper buy, bought more Apple today or something. <clears throat> you know, that that's what I thought it was. But but maybe I'm wrong. I, I thought it was like, oh, my gosh, even Tepper's buying Apple now. Maybe maybe that's what they said. Who knows? But um, but yeah, so so we're ch chopping now, guys. They're trying to take care of the options like always, you know, chop it up and down, up and down, up and down. And that will take care of all the options, especially the short term options like we're trying to do. That's what's brutal about this. But, you know, again, spec plays. These go down. If the NVIDIA drags this down tomorrow, we'll get paid. We do got a couple days on these trades, but we'll see how it goes. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not, there's no crying in trading from me, guys. If I lose, I lose. Oh, well, to the next one. I lost on McDonald's. It was only about a buck something on the contracts, but it wasn't terrible. But you know what? I just cut it today saying, you know what? I gave it a shot. Didn't come in. And McDonald's was a tough one. It just kept going. I shorted it with shares, too. It's going up a little bit today. So I think that was the right move to cut my position on the short calls. Lost like a buck on that one. Big deal. But we've, we've killed it on that. We killed it on McDonald's a lot. We killed it on a bunch of these trades. Gosh, though, everything's catching a flipping bid. 
PLCE. We're short on this one. This one, second half, getting it paid a little more. Uh, we are catching some support on here. So if you're short this PLCE, you should be half out of this one. Gosh, it was looking good. But look what we're running into, guys, some support down here. Look at the daily chart, guys. Daily chart support. Um, I'm going to bring this one down a little bit lower. Yeah, 618. Gosh, if we could get below these moving averages, I think the selling will, I think we could hit 120 easily. Look at this. Nice. It bombs it, retraces it, bombs it again. Markets are staying, you know, markets are staying tough right now. So this one's catching that little bit of a bid right now. As long as the markets stay green, this one could actually go higher. Damn, they're pushing it up a little bit more now, guys. Got those two tails, though. So let's see if we get another seller coming in. Someone needs higher prices, guys, and they're pushing this thing. They're trying to squeeze as much as they can. Let's go back to the SPY. 10-minute right there, guys. Look at that. They bring it right down or right back up. So someone's in here trying to push this thing. Let's see if we get more um, sellers coming in to meet them with some selling pressure. Bulls and bears are going at it right now. Someone needs higher prices, let me tell you. Someone's got a big position or someone doesn't want to pay some option premium out there. Let me tell you. Kind of crazy. Uh, let me see in this. All right, come on. Let's see what this thing can do. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, you mean monthly OPEX? Okay. Oh, I don't know. What What are you talking about, Carmela? With the oil. All right, guys. If you're new to the room, punch up a symbol. We'll take a look at some different stocks. Um, if you see any high flyers, low flyers, let's take a look at those. See if we could catch a bid on some of them. And go long, and we'll take a look at the other ones and see if we could catch a bid and, and uh, uh, short the rips. That's what we're kind of looking at now, looking at stocks that have been uh, all, you know, 52-week highs that keep going and going and going. Those are the ones I'd like to get into. Ah, what's DD? DDS getting hammered. Damn, look at that. They have earnings today, or was that the Macy earnings, or what What the hell happened here? A little bit lower, though, on this. Look at that. Nice retrace again, guys. Monthly chart, and then boom, five months bleeding. Gets everybody on board. They got everyone here, slammed it, got everybody re on the retrace. Gosh, almost 100 even number two, straight back down. Damn, that's a, that's a night. I think we were short this one. I already took it off. But look at that. just keeps going, guys. It's why you kept saying options expiration. Yeah, no, yeah, the options X for the, the 16th. A lot of options are expiring on tomorrow. Uh, it's the third week or third Friday of the month, you know, and then a lot of people, are, they're, just, they're just taking them out one by one. Like every month, guys, short, short puts because they always go to zero <laughs> every month. Every month for that was like the easiest trade ever. Here we go again. So we got uh, four minutes left of this candle. Looks like they're pushing it up in our face a little bit more. I'm telling you guys, they want NVIDIA higher and they want this higher, period. They're starting to get Apple going again. You just got to, you know, they just got to put uh, the pedal to the metal. Hey, 178 up, going into NVIDIA earnings. Keep it going. You might monthly, I just realized, yeah. BNE, uh, let's see, BNE. BNE. Yeah, it's coming off of it a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, there's that's that's not enough for me. It's only a couple months. A new issue. I can't I can't do anything with this. But wow, look at that bar though. Someone. Wow. Another one, guys. They get everybody in. Starts out low. Gets everybody excited. It's IPO and look at this. And even came back, retrace, and then they dumped it. They just can't help themselves. Come in, retrace, comes in, retrace, comes in again. Everyone, oh, here it goes. And then they slam it. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing for me. There, there's just not enough on the charts. I mean, if it if it breaks the thirty dollar, thirty, thirty one dollar area, it's most likely going lower. Wow, what a what a slam job though. Another one where you got a bunch of people just stuck in here. Jeez. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. <clears throat> HSY. HSY. Uh, let's look at the monthly. That's what I'm looking at. Ooh, not bad. Wow. Um, yeah, that's one. Uh, what is HSY? HSY. Oh, Hershey. Okay. 
Um, yeah, that that this could be more of a safety play though. Um, let's see if we could get let's see if we get get to the one twenty area on this one. Ooh, I like that. Uh, it's not stretched too much on the monthly. That's why I don't like right here would have been the area. Right here would have been the area. Right here would have been the area. Right here. And now it's not that stretched from the 20 MA. So we could get a little bit more on this one. 120, 125. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad, though. Because if you look at the retrace, this could be the short-term retrace next to the next bleed session here. But it is above all the MAs. It's in a strong stance. Let's see if we get a little bit more out of this one. Keep an eye on this one, guys. If you see anything with this one, quid mark, that's a nice one. Uh, if you see any more on that, it's a pretty good area right here, though. Now, with this, you need the spy and everything. If spy dumps, this will come in. If the spy stays green and goes through the holiday, then this can grind higher. So that's what we're kind of waiting on to see if we can uh, catch that Christmas rally, you know, you know, the Santa Claus rally, guys. All right, we got uh, 50 seconds left of this candle in the 10-minute chart. Let's see if we can get above these, um, these uh, little pivots here. I'm looking at the 10 minute guys let's go to the 10 minute now if it pushes above it's got, it's got to get above these high pivots and possible higher prices here i mean they're trying we got 30 seconds left of this candle let's see if they could close it above not not to say that this thing's going to go higher but um next area will be right in here 273.50 to 274 if it continues up we're going to see though we got a nice nice little you know candles here or these wicks a lot of bulls get in or bears get in they're pushing this thing right back down let's see we got 10 seconds left of this candle. Let's see if we could get above this pivot here. They're fighting. So it's 272.51. It needs to close above. Nope, did not. So so still, still a possibility for this thing to pull back. There are some ones in here driving this thing up on whatever news that can be. You know, they're any they're, they're anything, guys, at the at this point. Anything. Any good news. Oh my gosh, buy the dip. And then, and if it and if it actually if they could get a rally going for a couple of days like they did back here, you know, then they'll start bringing everybody out again. Buffett, I'm surprised they didn't bring Buffett out right here. On the retrace, they almost had to, but we did fill the gap today, guys. So we do have good support down in here, and that was the reason why we did bounce. But man, look at that though. Gosh, a little lower. I would have loved. I just, I just it's it's tough to really do anything in these markets, you know, especially you know like yesterday too, guys. We gapped up and straight to the basement. Then, then we pushed it up again and then straight down. This is a good area of resistance. You know, we're we're holding strong. We'll see if it could get if it could get higher. You know, this is the area we did close above that on the last candle. I, I got to see another close above that and then possibly higher prices. Um, HD for a long. <clears throat> um, I don't think on HD yet. Let's look at the monthly here. Yeah, monthly it's not bad. You know, you did hit first target here, which was the 20 MA. I still think it could be a one at 144 down here. Um, I would wait for HD to have a nice retrace and then short it to go long here. I, I mean, it's not a bad trade. I guess if you break, if you start breaking down to to the 170 area, then you're going to have to take that trade off the table. But right now, it's really not telling me anything other than you got the short term bounce here, just like the markets did led to a retrace, led to the next selling, and now you're just getting chopping. I mean, after you see that was at 173 to 178, it's like, wow, that, that could possibly go higher. And then the, the thoughts are, hey, this was a $215 stock. It's got to go higher. I mean, it just buy the dip like we've been doing. It did make a low. It's making higher lows here. So it's it, the trend is slowly getting better, but you're still below the MAs here in a weak stance. This thing can grind higher and get above the moving averages, then yes, higher prices. But again, if the SPY, the IWM, the Q start to sell, it will be a market trade, just like in the morning here. <clears throat> Let's go to the 10 minute. 10 minute, we start dumping out. We go right up. I mean, the, the SPY wasn't that bad in the morning. Let's see the SPY. You know, I mean, we did sell off here, then we caught the bid. Let's go back to Home Depot. We did sell off here as soon as, as soon as the markets uh, or the spy caught the uh, gap fill, we started moving up. Spy pulled back those three times. Remember that? Pulling back. Spy's moving up, so it's moving up. If the spy does not move higher, this will have trouble going long. So right now, I always say, you know, Natalie's new in the group. Um, it's got the markets or the IWM, the spy. It's got to go higher for these to go higher, guys. If If the markets start to sell again, we're going straight back down. That's what's really tough about these trades. 
is that um, you, you got to have the wind at the sail. You know, if the spy and everything don't catch a bid, these are going to go right back down. So that's why I'm kind of on the long trades. You don't want to be stuck in a long and these and these markets are flushing. And this, these are the time when the markets can dump. And when they dump, when they grind higher, it takes a little while. But when they dump, you know, we could get a <clears throat> we could get a sell off right here and we're back to 260. And everyone's like, what the heck just happened? You know, and that that's why, you know, these dips and everything, you know, we're not out of the woods yet. We held this, we held this nice trend line down here. Gosh, we were waiting a little bit lower. Got the great bounce. But look at that. That bounce led to what? More selling pressure. And now they got the China trade talk, the the Buffett, uh, the Buffett um getting out there now. You know, you, you knew he was coming out sooner or later. And then and then what do you get today? The markets bounce because they brought out the Teppers, the Buffets, the Seagulls. It, it's 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 flipping hilarious every time, guys. We get the market selling. Watch for those guys. That's 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 what they do. That's what they do, guys. So yeah. So Natalie HD Long, just if you want to give it a stab, it has pretty good support on the monthly. But just know if the markets start to dump, that that this will be a hundred and fifty dollar stock. But you know, if it retraces, you know, if you get 10, 20 bucks out of it, start taking some profits. If you're at 180, it, it could go back to 200 easily. But if the markets sell, this is going to go straight down. So it's a market trade. SPY, IWM, Qs, um, IYT, DIA move higher. Everything will move higher. Other than on earnings or something, that that is that is the wild card with this stuff. But, um, but yeah, you know, or news on a stock, you know, whatever, you know, it's bombing. that You got to watch out for that. Oh, this was another high flyer. Look at this thing. Look at this thing on the monthly chart. Straight up. Trend is great. But the trend, if this thing gets below the 20 moving average, the trend's broke. Here you go. 144 is your target. So SPY stalling out again. Let's see. 10 minute. That's what we follow intraday. We follow intraday to 10 minute and the 60 minute chart. We did get above the 20 MA on the 60. Let's see if we hold that now. Um spies trying got to get above these areas guys with with some with some let's i want to see more volume too let's see apple's pulling back a little bit amazon caught a bid tesla's a buck up google's going pretty good today facebook's a little weak nvidia's up five almost six bucks um trying you know they got to get that nvidia going we'll keep watching it thanks yeah, you know, just just be careful with that one. You're in support, but again, Natalie, you got to have this. If, if this if this all moves up, then then that will move up. I mean, look at here. So we we go up on here. The spy pulls back three and then starts moving up. Look at it. Look at Home Depot. Starts moving up here. Spy pulls back three. Then it starts moving up. It's just doing the same thing the spy's doing. It's an overall market trade. Now remember, you know, you you have your HD in one of the indexes. The indexes go up. People are, you know, that the, this helps this, you know, HD go up. You know, you'll have individual buyers in this too. But SPY pulls back, you'll see a big red bar, and this will go right back to the low. So, but yeah, I mean, down here, 173 to 178, that would have been a great buy. But everything, everything today, SPY would have been a great buy too, a gap fill. But, you know, we get markets like this, we fill the gap, you know, a lot of times they'll shake them out one more time and, and then make it go up. So I, I'm really careful. Now, if this was more in the lunchtime hour, then I would consider it. But, you know, an hour into the market, hour and a half into the market, I got to let these markets settle in because we could have easily just dropped right here and went to the basement. So that's what, you know, you got to kind of look at that too. Um, let's see. Paul says, now is a good time to review Fed's approach. I guess this is more, maybe, gosh. Yeah, he's going to say that, calm everybody down, and then next time he'll raise the rates and that will blow up the market. <laughs> Is that what's going on? So there's some lip service from uh, Uncle Jerome? Okay. Fed said the broader. Okay, yeah, there you go. Fed said to, for a broad review on how it could, how it conducts policy in 2019. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got to be really careful, guys. Really careful on what he does, <clears throat> especially at this point. And then he got Trump up as, you know what? You better not raise those rates. <laughs> I'm coming after you. So, yeah, you got to watch out for that, too. There was news U.S. China step up effort to strike G20 trust. And yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so there was news on the China trade. 
<laughs> Jeez. Oh, like always. All the time. Unbelievable. Hey, what's up, Kristoff? <laughs> I love you. I love you too, man. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, so let's see what happens. We got a lot of these um, indexes. They're coming up to the 200 moving average on the intraday chart. You have this one. You have the IWM slowly creeping up. You have the Q slowly creeping up. You have uh, the DIA slowly creeping up. You have the IYT slowly creeping up. 160 on the IYT. Out of nowhere, the Cinderella story. The markets are saved by the dip. Just buy the dip, guys. So, yeah, so, um, you know, until we get over this, uh, let's see if we could push. They're pushing now. We got a minute left of this candle. There we go. Push. Push, Uncle Jerome. Push. Make everybody feel warm and fuzzy. Kill our puts. Kill those puts. You're on a mission now. Everybody bought them down here. At, at, least, we, at least we have a little bit of dignity on these. <laughs> let's see. Let's see what happens. We still got two hours left of the market, though. So plenty of time, guys. Plenty of time. <clears throat> so let's see here guys um keep an eye on this uh not, nothing um 176 up market's not really telling us too much let's see what oil's doing here did we get a bit on this here yeah yeah slowly grinding back we took our short off yesterday that was a good one gosh look at this short though that was beautiful we took it off yesterday right at uh 1209 1209 i think it was 1207 right in that area then of course it went lower then we bounced but yeah I'm, I'm good with this trade we we could definitely bounce up again we'll be looking for areas again um i'm selling my trading system for system for 24 inch monitor by asus um all right <clears throat> um sure that that's i i have six monitors guys I have, I'm looking at, I have everything up here. I'm looking at all the indexes all at once. I'm looking at all the tech stocks, stocks like Boeing, Caterpillar. I got the spy up. I got this section up here. This is where I'm, you know, this is where I'm looking through stocks right here. <clears throat> so when I'm looking through uh, just, just daily plays, stamp, look at that one. That one just got hammered, but it's stamp. Look at this high flyer, guys. 129. Another one we shorted. God, we shorted here too. God, what a great trade. Look, if you're breaking this, and look at that, 160. That breaks that, you're going to 130. Well, it will be 150 first, and then 130. Here we come. Oh, you're selling your trading system? All right. Cool. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means, Phoenix Trader, but all right. Uh, but yeah, stamp. That's all. Look at that, awesome. Ugh, another high flyer, guys. Just getting pounded again. We stand. I'm in North Phoenix. All right. Hey, if anyone's uh, in the Phoenix area and looking for some monitors, um, Tony's selling some. So, I, I don't. If you're asking me, Tony, I, I don't. I, I got six monitors. I'm I'm good. I had my uh, my Mac or my Mac, my uh, PC. I had it built and everything. Um, Actually, just put a new uh, new uh, board in it. My board crashed, so I had to get a newer one. <laughs> so, but I guess after four years or so, every you should probably update that crap. But yeah, he's got four 20-inch monitors by Asus. Um, if anybody's interested, Phoenix Trader. Um, there you go. <clears throat> um, let's see here. So, spy's pulling back a little bit. We didn't we didn't close above that area though, guys. So that's something you're watching as an intraday trader. You know, that's what we're watching. We, you got to get above these pivots now, especially these two pivots and close. So right now you got to get, it did actually close on this one. So now the next step, we got to close above these, this area, 270, 274, and make a good, pretty good push. If this comes right back in, then, you know, we could see a little more downside. We'll see. Right now they're struggling with this area. This is the area where we broke down yesterday. And, you know, but they got a nice push. They got a nice push there. They got another nice push here and basically lower or low, higher low. And maybe, you know, let's see if we can uh, not take out this um, low right here. So, again, NVIDIA earnings, guys. That's the wild card to all these trades right now. If we get um, hammered tomorrow on that on that um, option or on the uh, NVIDIA um, earnings, then I think the market's going to get dragged down. Or 
or the other wild card. They get Apple going, Amazon going, BA going, Google going, Tesla going, every other stocks except for NVIDIA. And NVIDIA tanks and everything else stays green. <laughs> you know, so, something like that. You know, they got China trade talk, guys. Got to hype it up. It's China trade talk. They're close to a deal. They really are. All right, guys, if you're new to the room, punch up a symbol. Let's take a look at it. Um, long or short, I don't really care. Let's look for some high flyers, see if we could catch anything out there. I am not trading anything intraday anymore. We caught the Netties trade today. We put some um, options on just as spec plays, small positions. That's why I'm keeping them around the you know, uh, $200 area, $150 area. Uh, two, uh, 225 area, you know, in that area. So, you know, if these things go against us, we're not losing a ton of money. And it's all a 50-50 shot, guys, with earnings. And we're playing it towards the NVIDIA earnings being being bad. If they if it's good, then, hey, we got a little bit of time on the options, but they'll most likely get cream tomorrow. Uh, let's see here. Uh, almost PG, almost double top. Let's take a look. Yeah, we've been, we've been looking at this one. That's what, That one's on the radar. Uh, yeah, excuse me. I like that. Yeah, if you want to go short this one, but remember, PG, this is one where if the markets start cratering, this could catch a bid. That's why I think it had earnings here, most likely, and it's just been going up, 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 and away. Uh, monthly chart, uh, it's, yeah, right there. So, you know, if you're not short this one, you could short this one here. Just think though, it could go to a hundred bucks, so make sure you have some left in the tank. But look at that move, look at that trend line, too, guys. That's your trend line. That trend line gives out, guys. We're going, we're we're going down. But look at this. You go straight up, retrace, straight up into this area, retrace, retrace. Then they get the double top, retrace, you know, because they, they don't want to dump it yet. And then they dump it again, right into the trend line, straight back up. Next dump will be just like this. <laughs> I guarantee it. Um, but you know, it could go 95, 97, 50, then 100. Make sure if you're going starting to short here, make sure you have some left in the tank if it goes to 100. Get your average price in around 96, 97. Hold on. It is a monthly start, uh, start uh, chart play. 85 would be your first target. So even if you were in around 96, 97, even around 93, this thing goes to 85, 83, that's a hell of a trade too. That's the way you got to look at it. If it goes up on you, just remember you're getting stretched more, and eventually it's going to slingshot back and go down. Markets move lower. This can move lower. Through the holidays, though, this is why you know this thing could grind to 100. And it's, it's more of a safe play, too. <clears throat> I think it is. <laughs> Something like that. Don't take my word for everything, guys. <laughs> so, all right, let's see. Uh, hold on here. So, you know, it, it's Procter & Gamble, guys. It's more of a safe haven play. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, so, yeah, that's see If you want to take that one short, go for it. At least, at least add a little bit right there. Great resistance. Again, though, it could go. A lot of these will overshoot, but just make sure you got some left in the tank just in case if it does. No more than 10% of a total position if you're taking shares. If you're buying puts, you got to go a little further out because it is a monthly chart play. It could take six months to move down. So make sure you go far enough out on these options, guys. Spy's pulling back a little bit. It's having that. It's having trouble at that area. Damn, I wish we would have waited. I didn't. I didn't think we'd get there. You know, after that little pullback and then slingshot up for you know an hour, where we're starting to pull back a little bit. Not that it's going to come down straight down, but it's having trouble with that two. Uh, the 272.50 area, though. So let's see. Let's see. Let's, you know, we still have a little bit of time left. Let's see what happens. Um, yeah. So Ashton, yeah, just be careful with this one. Um, or, you know, just just slow and steady on this one. If you're going to go do puts, you know, maybe buy one, get ready to buy more, um, and go out a little bit further. You know, at least buy yourself a couple months of time. All right, Spy's pulling back a little bit more. We'll see. I, you know, I, I we'll see. Gosh, if, uh, NVIDIA is going to drive it, guys. Bottom line. I am slow on it. Yeah, there you go, man. <laughs> All right, Baba. Baba. My troll, my troll was Baba. This is Baba. <laughs> um, it's actually catching a bid. Um, I, you know, uh, yeah, I, I just don't. Um, I think we have more pain coming on these. Um, nothing for me to do here. I'm just looking at where. Why is it catching the bid? What what's going on here? 
So let's let's take a fib. You know what? Let's let's just get all this crap out of here. All right, let's take a fib. Let's start with this from this low pivot to the high pivot. Let's see if there's any reason. All right, look at that, 618. Damn, 133.96. So that's the reason why it's bouncing. But like everything else, will this get the nice little pop up, get everyone to chase it? We did come back in. We're filling the gap right there at 154.86. So this could be the end of the road right here for this one. Um, let's keep an eye on this. I, I can't, you know, from 130 to 155, I can't chase that up. I know the allure of it is because it was once a $200 stock, but a lot of these stocks right now are retracing up. I mean, I think it could get to 166 and maybe the 175 area. You got the gap fill here, but then you got the 50 MA, you got the 50 MA resistance, more of a short term. You know, you got the 382 and the 750 going up, but let's, let's look at the short term retrace now from this low, this high. Let's just see what it's. Yeah, so we got over the 250, but it still it's down sideways in this lower range. I can't get interested in anything long right now, guys. I know buy the dip mentalities embedded in your blood. I got to buy the dip because that's what I've done for the last four years. And it, every time I bought the dip, the stock went up. That's what it makes people do, guys. It makes people, oh, my God. That, that Baba dipped. I mean, this is a pretty good dip. Don't get me wrong. It's 60, 70 bucks off the high, but doesn't mean it can't just click over and come right back in, guys. Weekly chart, 120. That, that's I like this area a little bit better. But you know, we, we made a nice rounded top here. Look at this. Chop and chop, and then they pop it up. And what do they do, guys? Pop it up right before what? They slam it. They pop it up, get everyone excited, double upgrade, all-time highs, this is it. You better get in now. And then they freaking slam it to you. Because everyone who was waiting, oh, man, I can't, not yet. And then as soon as it pops, all-time highs, it's the news every day. It's like, oh, shoot, I'm missing Baba. Oh, my gosh, they're upgrading. And then look what they do. So right now we're down here. We filled the gap until we get above these moving averages. Still in a weak stance. I, I can't, unfortunately, I mean, the daily chart doesn't look bad. But again, here's that gap. We just filled it today. So let's let's see what happens to this. They might have some news. Well, then Baba, then they do like the, the biggest record day of all. You know, that's the hype of it, too. They had the record sales. Oh, my gosh. Hurry. It's cheap down here. And the next thing you know, it fills the gap, goes up a little higher, and then rolls over again. We're not out of the woods on any of this stuff yet, guys. Look, we made the high, lower high. Look, every time they retrace it, they're selling. Retrace, sell. Retrace, sell. Could this be the bottom? Maybe. I mean, this is really, they're chopping everybody around. Now it's going up. Now they got that news. Oh, it's the billion, $39 billion sales. Oh my gosh. But, you know, if it can't keep going, if it can't hold this 50 MA and this gap fill, look out. I wouldn't doubt clicks over and right back down. Um, I, for me, 30, it's, it's up already, you know, what, 30, 40, 50, 25 bucks down here would have been your area down here. That would have been double bottom. So when it retraced, came back to double bottom, That that that's the spot you would have been interested in. And you get the little flush where they're shaking everyone out, and then you get the launch. This isn't too bad of a choppy bullish pattern setting up for higher prices, but again, it's buying everything's got to go up for this to go up. And and this Shanghai too, that's got to start ripping too. So just 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 be careful with this one because see, see the trend right now? Every retrace, they're dumping. That's kind of what they're doing with everything right now. So just be careful. I mean, if you're long in this one from down in this area, just tighten the stop. If you start cracking below the 50 MA and starts heading down, just freaking get out of this thing because it is down sideways, still setting up for lower prices, in my opinion. Um, let's see here. BBBY. BBBY. At ah, geez, look at this thing just getting the crap kicked out of it. This is Bed Bath & Beyond, I think. Yeah, there was your level right there, guys. And it's cracking that. Yeah, this thing's ugly. I, yeah, there's, there's, let's go back further. Yeah, geez. Yeah, that's maybe nine bucks. And we got some support down here, too. Bottom line, if it can't get back above 1636, you will be kissing 1129 and maybe nine bucks. Now, if the market's dump, it could go lower. God, that's an ugly one. Look at that, though, guys. Now that's a pretty head and shoulder top right there. You, you can't, you can't, you can't make a better. <laughs> you can't make a better thing one than that. There's your head and shoulder top, guys. Here's your neckline right there. 
This is the monthly chart. This is a nasty one. Look at that. So there, there was your target right there, and this thing just keeps going. Wow, look at that. That's a beauty. I'm going to have to keep this one on to show my members. Look at that. Look at that. Now, if you're seeing this on a monthly chart, that's epic. See what they did, though, guys? What they do? They retraced it up, got everyone on board. Oh, my God, here it goes. Oh, -ho. once the neckline broke, look, it went to the neckline. Look what it did. It stalled out there a little bit and then lights out. Monthly chart right to the 200 MA, chopping around. Another bearish pattern. Look at that. What did we talk about? Down, sideways. And then look at that. The next. And then look. Look where the target was. Look where it, look where it kind of stalled. Stalling here. And then it kept. Hey. Um, yeah, 10 bucks. I wouldn't touch this one. But, you know, again, though, you know, you, you might get some bottom feeders. If you get the markets to catch a bid and starts, starts to rally, <clears throat> this one I think will still go lower. And if the market's still rallying, that's when you buy this one. So if the markets start to rally for a couple weeks, this one continues lower. The markets rally for another couple weeks, this one could catch the bid and start going up. But I would definitely wait for lower prices on this. I like the bottom feeding plays. I like I like that, but it, it could still go a little lower, guys. Be careful with this one. Here's your pivots there, and there's your big pivot there around 893. So even around 10 bucks, not bad. Look at that head and shoulder, though. Jeez. I think we were we were short this one one of these pops so I know we were <laughs> I know we were um, I'm slow on it um, MDB MDB I don't I don't think I looked at Ooh, look at that one Wow I, what is this one a marijuana stock maybe <laughs> MDB Ongo what is this thing Ongo DB I have no idea what this thing is, but mama mia. Look at that chart, guys. Um, wow. <clears throat> I'm going to have a lot of bag holders in this one. Uh, what's it trading? A million shares on the day, holding the 70. Um, at this point, uh, I'm not. It, there's just not enough on the charts to see. I wish this was double top or something. Um, it might have did a read. Did it do a retrace? Yeah, look at that right there. Jeez. Down, retrace. Yeah. Um. Oh, that's not bad. Did they have earnings or something today? Let's see if we could get back up here a little bit higher. Keep an eye on this one. MDB a little bit higher. It would be shorting it. I would love to see a break of the highs. Maybe go to 90, 91 and then do it. Yeah, Christopher, no problem with that one, with the Baba. Just be careful with these names. And China's been weak. China's been getting slammed. That one goes. That will start, you know, start uh, moving lower. Uh, let's see here. Um, MD, yeah, I like this one. Keep this one on the radar, guys. If this one pops up to the 85, 86, breaches this double top, then you're then you're looking at this, you know, possible for a possible short. Yeah, Marcus, Marcus is chopping around now, killing the puts, killing the puts. Damn, gotta be patient with these trades. End of day, end of day. <laughs> so, uh, MSFT, Microsoft. Uh, Microsoft coming into some resistance. We had the short-term retrace. It got it back above the 618. It's holding the 750 down here. And we almost filled the gap. It would have got a little better bounce if we would have filled the gap. But options X, guys, that's what usually happens. It'll come short of the gap. So we got the bounce today because the markets are slowly getting the bounce as well. Um, again, you know, we get the retrace led, leading to more, you know, selling. Um, I mean, Microsoft's got to get above 112, guys. That, that's the big area. If it can't get above the moving averages or 112, then you're just going to set up, probably chop around for and set up for lower prices. If the markets come up during the holiday season and start to become green every day, and we get the mega rally, Santa Claus rally, then, yeah, all these stocks can go up. If we kind of chop around up and down, December 5th on MDO, MDB, wait for MDB for earnings. If earnings pops on December 5th, that's what we'll be shorting that, that day. I like the chart setup, though. But, yeah, Microsoft, a little bit weak. You're below the MAs. Um, let's see if we can recapture the 20 today and close. Markets are catching another bid, guys. It's, it's just stunning. And, look, NVIDIA is catching a bid. What a surprise. And then, you know what You know what that tells us if you're watching NVIDIA? Oh, my gosh, someone might know something. NVIDIA keeps going higher. Oh, it's got to have good earnings. It has to. It keeps going. You know, buy the dip. You know, no, it doesn't have to have anything, guys. So uh, keep an eye on NVIDIA, like I've been saying. But uh, this one here, yeah, if the markets keep going higher, this could possibly grind higher. But watch for another short-term retrace, maybe back to 110. That will be another big area, too, to watch. 110, 112, and then, you know, double top up in here.
And now, I mean, look at this action. You know, you go up and up, and now you're starting to up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You make the high. You know, they break the high. Oh, man, all-time highs. This is so great. And then they slam it. They retrace it, get everyone back on board, slam it. They retrace it, get everyone back on board, and they're slamming it again. Now they're getting – let's see if we can get more people on board at the highs. That's what we do. Yeah, you know what? Probably our shorts are covering. That thing was a beat down. All the, all the smart money who shorted it, they're already done with that trade a long time ago, guys. Now all the dumb money is like, oh, oh, no, it's going squeezing. And then they just get a manufactured squeeze on that, and then it just goes up automatically. Unfortunately, that's how it works sometimes. If NVIDIA pops with the 200 MA on the daily chart, be too risky for a small short. Yeah, be careful with NVIDIA. That thing can be a beast. Uh, Wait, 200 on a daily chart? Oh, yeah. No, I would probably go 250. I'd, I'd even go a little higher. Too sick. You have a gap fill in here. Because this, if it does pop and start rolling, you have some gap fills. That's going to slow it down. And then this area and then the 250. Yeah, I, I would maybe 250, 260, somewhere in here for a short, but for a fade, maybe. We're gonna have to, it's NVIDIA, guys. If, if they, they almost have to have good earnings. They almost have to. They have to. Because if this thing goes down tomorrow, it's going to drag everything down. Hey, no problem, Amar. Yeah, so again, NVIDIA is catching a bid. It's NVIDIA, hurry. And the markets are catching another bid. Un unbelievable. Gosh darn it. You know, even even you know, even though I got small positions on these puts, it still pisses me off. You know, this is the bullshit action you get on an options X before a big earnings player comes on. You got news spooing out, you know, because they it, it is like, does someone actually know something with this? See now how we get above that now? How we stalled out, now we got above. So now this thing can possibly move higher. But now you're running into the next area of resistance with this trend line. You got the seven five oh retrace and you got the two hundred moving average up there. Should have just waited. Damn it. You know, with the market pulling back, it was like, you know, I kind of like that pullback. But then we were in lunchtime hour, you know, same bullshit, different day. And then the light volume, only 85 million today. See how we got the volume in here. Someone was pushing. Let me tell you, they, someone needs higher prices, guys, period. So every time they get something on CNBC, they're going to take it to the bank. Something with trade, China trade, please. And they can latch on to it. <laughs> so... So they're saying China tariffs on hold. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> there you go. Need something to prop these markets up. Anything. Now they're on hold. Before they were just popping out like freaking, you know, peanuts. One here. One for them. One for you. One for them. Tariff for you. Tariff for them. Now it's like, well, no, they're going to be on hold now. Let, let's take a look at these. Let's have a talk today. <laughs> let's have a talk before NVIDIA. What a coincidence. Everything's fixed on NVIDIA earnings day. Options X. Someone needs higher prices. Let's throw out more stuff. You got Buffett out, Tepper out, headlines on CNBC. We bought more of everything. Well, just do it. You know, just crap like that. By the dip makes me think it's on sale. Yeah, gosh. Video pops. They have the 200. Yeah, daily watch for that one, B-Rabbit. That, one, that one's a tough one with the NVIDIA. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to do. I mean, they're, they're trying, look at this, grind this thing higher, guys. They're even back above the 20 MA. Save the markets. We're back above the 20. Thank the Lord. Thank the good Lord. We're, we're rallying now. Told you. You know, the four days of bleeding and then back to that. Unbelievable. Well, they're just taking out the puts at this point. Everybody shorted puts probably a week ago, two weeks ago, and they're, they're just murdering them right now. Gosh, look at that. Look at that manufactured crap. Oh, everything's fixed now. They're just buy. Buy the dip. Buy the dip. <laughs> so, so China, yeah, tariffs on hold. Yeah, everything is on hold now. Who cares? And then tomorrow I'll be like, oh, they're not on hold. Who told you that? Trump will come out and start tweeting. <clears throat> R-E-T-L. Let's take a look at R-E-T-L. <clears throat> um, 48,000 traded. I Yeah, I, I can't do anything with this one. Um, you got some support around 34, double top, same crap, down, retrace it up, crash it again, holding support here. If 35 cracks, you're most likely going down, back down to 20. Market stomp, that's where it's probably going to go. Um, I don't know anything about this stock. It is a light volume name, so um, I just want to see something here. Do the retrace. Looks like it's holding some good support there on the monthly. Yeah, 618. 20 in the 50 MA, 
let's look at the smaller time frame just to see what it looks like. Yeah, smaller's ugly though. Gosh, yeah, just, just comes in, re, like, like everything, guys. Spy retraces, this retraces, spy comes down, this comes down. Spy's catching a bid today, this is going up. Off the lows though. Damn, that would have been a pretty good trade down there. Um, nothing for me to do with the 48,000 shares traded. It's just a light volume name. Um, I, yeah. I mean, you are, if you hold this, if you hold this low around the 30, 30, 33 bucks, then it should be okay. If that starts to crack, you're going to go lower. You got a little bit of tail today, so you could possibly go higher too. If you recapture the MAs here on the daily chart, it should go higher. If you can't get above the 20 or this gap fill around 37, 34, then watch for the next leg down. Again, you got to line it up with the, uh, with the spy and everything. If the spy moves up, then they'll move up. If the spy moves down, they're all going to go down. As you can see now, guys, SPY, IWM, Q's, IWM, all the indexes moving higher. What does that do for most stocks? They all move higher. <laughs> it's pretty simple. That's what you call a market trade. Markets move higher. Everything does. And there's going to be stocks that don't, like Nike's. I mean, even Nike had to have caught a bid with the last, last you know, hour going up. Yeah, see, still down on the day, but see how it caught it? Then remember those three candles down on the spy, boom, boom, boom. And then as soon as we go up, right up, we get the one candle down on the spy. Spy starts moving up again, goes up. Pretty simple stuff. Pretty simple stuff. Uh, Twilio at 91. <clears throat> um, oh, yeah, look at that. Flying away. Jeez. Um, not bad. Um, gosh, I, I, I still, I would still like it to go a little bit higher. You know, last time I got caught in this trade and they got me and you know, you, you got the big red bar, but if, if the, it's all based on NVIDIA guys, if NVIDIA goes higher, these, this will go higher. So, um, if you're not short this one, you could give it a shot here. I'd, I'd still like it a little bit higher. My short term trade we covered. I'm still in half of this trade. I'm back on half of my trade on Twilio. I'm back underwater now. I, that's why I'm kind of like, you know, I, I, I would love to see it go a little higher. I get my cost average up a little more. But what I would do if I covered half on this, I'd probably go a quarter position. I'd go half of that position on this one. And if it goes to 96, 97, I'll take the other half and do it again. So I'd like it. I'd like it a little bit more. But um but uh, Alexander, I mean, if you want to give it a small shot, you can. Know, know that it could go to 100. It could go back to the highs. I mean, you, you see what it's doing today. Markets are trying to catch a bid. This is high. You know, it's Twilio, guys. This is, you know, we came down because the markets were coming down. That's what helped us trade. But now the markets are buoyant and pop right up. Now see how the markets are pulling back just a tiny bit? What's this one doing? Pulling back. I mean, this one's catching. This one's squeezing. That's what this one's doing. So the shorts that were in probably from 60. They couldn't, you know, it gets to 95, then it pulls back to 82. Now it's going up. The shorts are like, oh, my gosh, just get me out of this thing. Here we go again. So you can do it that way. You know, so um, that's it. NVIDIA is shorts covering. Yeah, NVIDIA. Uh, you probably got some shorts covering. That thing was a beast. You know, it came down smart. You know, now it starts to catch a bid. The low was 180. Now it's at 204. You're 25 dollars off. If you shorted it, you missed the 20 dollar move. You're like, oh my gosh, I got, I better cover. But if you shorted from you know 250 area on Nvidia, you're still doing all right. But you know, at that point though, you you just missed 30 bucks out of it. Just pull the pull the trade off. Let's see if we could let's see if we could push up into this area, right here. I would love a little more. Right there, guys. Like 92, 38, even a little bit more, and maybe I'll I'll probably go back in with a with a quarter quarter position. Remember, I'm underwater now in this, so it's like eh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go steady on this. But if you want, if you if you haven't shorted Twilio yet, this is a pretty good area to start to start the position again. You'll even have a better price than me. <laughs> Put it that way. But yeah, this isn't bad. I like it. We talked about this big red bar too. You got to get above it. If it gets above it, then you're most likely going a little higher. But, you know, we made money on this one. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, if you go put, you got to go a little bit further. Remember that, too. Yeah, 
have us buy pulls back. Everything's going to be based on this NVIDIA trade, guys, tonight. So hopefully, hopefully we get paid on some of these puts. So if we don't, then like I said, oh, well, suspect play. Got a little tiny bit of time. We'll see if that works out. All right, guys, if you're members, you know what's going on right now. <laughs> so, all right, let's see here. Um, video is tied to the spy and best semi. Yeah, that, that's, yeah, billionaires can buy anything and they had, yeah, yeah, they can. That's why, like, you know, Buffett, he, he could buy more Apple hair, more at 150, more at 100, one more at 50. He'll have, you know, just load the house right there and boom, done. Uh, Twilio 91, yeah, Alexander. Yeah, you're, you're a member, so you know what's going on with that. Um, MDB and Twilio, holy smokes. Yeah, right. MDB too. Let's look at that one again. MDB. That's yeah, coming back. I mean, I love I love the retrace on this, but man, if we could get a little bit more out of it. You know, even 83, 84, because I like that pivot here too. And then you got all that consolidation around that 84 area. Gosh, a little. I mean, this, this is what you want to see though. I it will make it there, maybe. We'll have to see what happens. <clears throat> you miss anything important? Wilson, nah. CME monthly high flyer. Let's look at CME. CME month. Ooh, look at that. Like it, like it, like it. Let's look at the monthly, though. Ooh, look at that, guys. Um, 200 will probably be the number. Um, ooh, I like that, though. Wilson, good call. In case I miss it, why NVIDIA has so much impact on the markets with ER. It, it just does. I mean, that's like the, the darling of the market. It's just like Apple does. It's, it's the leading semi. Everyone's into it. It's the stock of the year. That puts a drag on the markets. It, it won't help. But, but you watch. If that drags the market tomorrow, you watch Apple up, Amazon up. You watch all the other stocks up while, while NVIDIA gets plowed. If NVIDIA goes up, everything's going to rally. You know, they're, they're, that, that will be the reason. And then they'll throw off some China trade talk news, this crap, that crap. But CME, guys, wow, look at that. Well, let's hold on. Hold on here. I was going to say, let, where where was the last time? So double top, CME. Yeah, look at that. This one could drag to 200, though, guys. So if you want to do this one, know that it could go to 2, maybe 210. If the markets go through the Santa Claus rally, this could possibly push higher. So watch for that. But if the markets drag and they pull back, this one will go lower. I want to see one thing, though, before we do something here. Yeah, this one's staying pretty strong, though. Did not pull back. When the spy was pulling back, this one held strong. So this one's this one's making a run here. Weekly, it's probably going to 200, even number, guys. Damn. 173's your target. Yeah, this one's a tough one. Trend, the trend is in. Trend's intact, guys. It's it's going. We'll look at the yearly just to see what this looks like. Yeah, look at that crap. All right. <laughs> you know, geez. Let's look at a monthly again. <clears throat> monthly, geez. Yeah, I like this one, guys. Monthly high flyer. I hear you. It's the C yeah, I know it's the CME group stock. I know. That's why it's like, hmm. Um, yeah, you can um want to take a stab. It's a small stab, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, let's. Oh man! Yeah, you know, this thing's just chopping around here. Yeah, I, I think people are shorting it right now. <laughs> All right. But uh, yeah, CME, love that. Look at that. I mean, that's, I wouldn't even look at that one. Give me a second, guys. Eleven fifteen. Nvidia on deck. Spies grinding higher. Comes back a little bit. See how the see how we're at the two hundred MA on most of the indexes now. 
the IWM, the Q's hit the 200 MA. The DIA is a little bit short and the SPY is a little bit short. SPY will probably just fall short of that because everyone's waiting at the 200 MA for the you know pullback. You got to watch for that too as well. Nice. So we're put, I think we're putting some good trades out here. Mostly all shares, mostly. We did a couple put plays, nothing crazy. Um, e, let's see here. 22% on your MS calls. Um, all right, hold on a second here. In case we miss it, yeah, uh, GS. Hold on, I got to go through. Let's look at GS. Actually, you know what? Let's look at MS. Let's look at MS for you if you're up in your calls. Let's see what we're looking at here. Now, remember, if you're up in your calls, you got you to have that market keep going. Remember, you're up You're up because the markets are up. The markets pull back. Your calls are going to be demolished. Um, I don't know how far you're going out on it, but your next area of resistance will be around, let's see, let's go back. It'll be right around 44.72 and then 44 or 45 up into this area if it pushes up. If the SPY pushes up, this is going to go higher. So if the SPY starts cracking, going down, then you're going to have to get out of there and take those profits. You know, I mean, if, you, if, if, you, you know, if you're making a grand or so, shit, I'd be done. Out. Out the door. You know, and if you hold into NVIDIA, NVIDIA has good earnings. This could possibly pop higher. But see how this, this is going with the SPY? SPY pulls back, gets the bounce. SPY pulls back, gets the bounce. Going completely with the spy. Spy dumps. This is going right back down. All right, so just be careful with it. Um, A E E. Let's look at that. <clears throat> A E E. Is it a high flyer? Ooh, look at that one. Let's see. Let's see if there's any reason. Anything else? Nope. All right, hold on here. <clears throat> let's see this. Ooh, guy, a little bit more. Damn. I mean, I guess you can make a case right here, too. You can go off that little high. Wow. But look at this right here, guys. Ooh, that's getting that's that's pretty freaking close. Damn. Um, who was that? Ashton, good catch on that one. Yeah, look at that. Um, what is this thing? Is it is it uh, what A E E? What are they? Ameren Corporation? Are they a biotech or anything? That's that's the one you gotta look for. What what are, what is this company? Yeah, JC Christmas story come back, maybe. I, I bought some more at JCP. I'll hold it. At a at a dollar fifty, dollar twenty five, two bucks. You gotta buy that. You gotta give that one a shot. About hundred shares of PCB G. Yeah, okay. I mean that yeah, that's not bad right there. That's a good call. Because if they don't if they're if they're not at fault for that, that thing should bounce. 45 was your sell. Yeah, great call on that, on the MS. Yeah, if it gets up to 45, definitely. That's a 20 MA. But remember, you got this, the SPY keeps going up. That should grind higher, the MS. So keep an eye on the SPY, too. Um, energy engineers, is that what the um, EA, okay, so that's why that thing's flying. But, God, look at that. There's your trend line, guys. That that could that could be the end of this one. I like that. What's the volume? A million shares traded. What's normal volume on this one? Wow, love the retrace. Look at that. Gets that, gets the retrace right into that area, too. Jeez. Um, daily. I just want to see the volume on this one. Okay, the volume. Okay, so we're trading. Not terrible, but at least, at least a million a day, just so it's, there's some liquidity in here. Um, that's not a bad one. If it goes to zero, I don't care. It's an option. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. There you go. See, Andy? Andy gets it. Exactly, 100 shares. If you're willing to risk that and it goes to zero, so be it. But yeah, well, let's look at that one. Let's look at that. Was it PCG? But yeah, this is a great. This is a great one here, guys. Um, AEE. If you want to short that, I don't have a problem with that one. <laughs> oh, jeez. Ah, uh, let's see here. Anything else? Uh, hold on here. AEE. Yeah, I like that one. Um, Mm. All right, <clears throat> there we go. And the reason I'm doing a lot more short swings with shares 
just easier to manage, especially if the markets grind higher through the holiday season, then it will be all right. If we buy options going into the holiday season, God knows what can happen with that. All right, I don't even think God would know, <laughs> to be honest with you. But, um, but yeah, that's why, you know, we'll pick on the ones with their high flying. You look at the monthly charts, like the monthly on this one. This one's good. Your stretch, 60 bucks would be it. So it's a $10 move. If that thing really starts to go, it'll be a $51 stock. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine months grinding. Remember, you know about that as well. And then look at the symmetry in this one. Damn. Like that. Now, if you look at symmetry, guys, you can look at this. Let's see. So that's your time period to that side. And let's see the time period to this side. Yeah, look at that. You're right in that. You're right in that time frame, guys, where it could pull back. So, so that's something to look at too on that one. Uh, let's see, um, power company. Okay, goes to zero. I don't care exactly. What about A U P H? A U P H. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yeah, nothing to do here. Monthly chart, just chopping around. Had a nice little run though. You know, from back in here. From 2016, look at that nice little pop. They brought it. Nah, nothing to do for me. It, it's it's such a thinly traded name. Um, I I don't even know what they do, and they're, they're just chopping this thing. Let's see. Uh, nice retrace, nice double bottom. Yeah, I guess if you're in this one, if it doesn't hold five bucks, it's most likely going lower. If you could grind past these moving averages, get above 575, then possibly higher. That's what you're looking at. But yeah, I, I these are apparently some news or something on these on this name. I don't even know what it is. But yeah, just be careful. You know, as long as it's holding this double bottom at five bucks, should be all right. If it cracks that, then you're most likely going lower. If you could get past the five seventy one, then you're looking at six bucks and then six seventy. So if you're in this thing from five, it goes to six seventy. Get out. Sold my ninety two out at all right, cool. That's it. Yeah, don't you, you know what? Profit, it's a profit, man. You're not you're never gonna go broke taking a profit. Period. Period. That's always good. All right, so let's see. Uh CBR has held up well. Would you consider shorting on any pop higher back to 80? Uh C Y B R. Y B R. Um, let's see. Let's look at the monthly first. Oh, that's not bad. Hmm. Yeah, shit, that would have been the short right there. When did it do that? Ah, damn, right there. Look, another, another. That must have been an earnings. Look at that earnings play, guys. Yeah, I, you could shorty. I, I'd rather wait for the retrace again. <clears throat> yep, and then and then do it. Damn that. Ah, oh, look at that. Where were you, Mark? What? One, two, three, four, five, six days ago. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Yeah, that that was the play, though, guys, right there. Damn. Wow. The gap and crap. And there, there, there's your other. That and that's even going back further. That's your area. So right when that thing gapped up, went to eighty one twenty. Boom. Lights out. It's not bad though. I got fifty four dollars as a price target if it does start to fall. So that 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 could be the spot. But yeah, one more retrace and then I, it's not bad here. But man, you got it's ten dollars lower from the highs. So they could easily go back, you know, five, six bucks, go to eighty one. Yeah, eighty one I like, and then boom. But yeah, definitely. If this one starts crailing up, let us know. That will be another short. Definitely. Good good call with that, Mark. That's yeah, it's all yeah. The watch list went from red to green. Um, they really are trying, aren't they? Yeah. Whatever. You know what? Whatever. Let let Keep pushing it higher. Let, let them push it higher. That'll give us better entry points for shorts. You know, you can't chase this thing at market highs, guys. Just let it, let it, let it go. You know, take small positions. Guys, if you're in if you're in share positions, no more than 10% of your total portfolio with no margin. So if you have a $100,000 account with no margin, no more than 10 grand. Right now, I'd, I'd be pushing five grand positions. If you're in an option trade, like these puts we're doing, um, no more than 3%. So if you have a $100,000 account, I'd be doing $1,000 plays right now, maybe two at the most. If anything, I would do 500, 500, 500, add if you have to, and then still have it at a you know percent and a half. Right now, these markets, there is no direction other than up and down, period. For all I know, we dump out hard at the end of the day. I don't know. 
I mean, we're coming into some areas. We came into this one here. We just hit the 750 retrace. We hit this trend line now, and now we're pulling back again. For all I know, we dump out, we're at the lows of the day. It was NVIDIA, you know, or something. Who knows? But right now, we're into more resistance up here, and that's coming from this high to this low. Actually, hmm, that should have been down one. This low. Let's see where we're at now. <laughs> Maybe I could get the right things in here, guys. But we had this trend line here. We had the 750 retrace here. We have the 200 moving average coming up into play. We're pulling back now, but who's to say that we don't go right back up? You know, maybe more China trade news. Who knows, guys? But right now, you just gotta, you know, you know, look at look at this action, guys. I mean, we're just, we're kind of bleeding, but we get the big gap up the other day, slam. Then the, then the you know bid at the end of the day, you know, just miss gap fill. Today we fill the gap, we get a massive bid up, almost up to the highs of we were the other day. So everyone who bought shorted, you know, shorted down here, now they're going long up here. Everybody who went here bought long. They went short, bought long, went short, bought long again. They're shaking everybody up and down, shaking bait, guys. That's what they're doing right now. And they're, and they're doing an excellent job of it. That's why I'd rather just sit, talk to you guys, and do nothing. That's it. That's it. Another one of my short ideas back at, at 80. Yeah, we, we were short SQ. We pulled that one off. And uh, yeah, let's see if this thing can retrace. Yeah, even yeah, even right there. But that's where you got to watch. If it starts getting back above 82, 83, then yeah, then you're looking at your next area here. You know, maybe gap fill at 94, 90 bucks. You know, let it let it come up. You know, if it goes down, so be it. Then we'll be looking for long trades. No big deal. Then if the markets catch a catch a bottom, then we'll be going long. No big deal. You know, so, so that's what we'll do. You know, that that's kind of, you know, I'd ra rather make it simple than, than make things difficult, <laughs> you know, and small positions makes it even easier. So that's what we're doing, guys. So RYB, um, Andy just bought 375 shares at 810. UJAZ long target. Hey, what's up, Sherry? <laughs> Um, the UG, uh, give me a second here. Uh, let's see. Gosh, right. Uh, all right, Spy's pulling back a little bit more. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Um, RYB, let's take a look at that one. Wait 10. Yep. There it goes. Yeah, that's a nice little. Yeah, markets. If the markets keep popping, that should be a good one. Look at the daily. <clears throat> daily. What did it catch? Did it catch anything down here? Is there? Oh, there isn't even anything down there. Uh, monthly. Is this a new? Yeah, new issue. Wow, look at that. Everyone got sucked in. Bullish. Look at that. Bearish inside bar pattern. Retraces it up and then the slam. Wow, I don't know what this is, but uh, but yeah, if you make money on that one, get the hell out. <laughs> so, wow, but hey, it's going. Why not? Yeah, nice little nice little pattern here. This could start popping. Uh, it's got to hold this. Got to hold the seven seventy two area though. That's the area it's got to hold on this one. Look at that nice little gap down on the day. A little bit of volume, not too much. Looks like this this thing doesn't trade any volume. So maybe you're, yeah, look at that, jeez. Yeah, that's a good spec play, though, man, for a bottom feeder. That could, could definitely go higher. You know, first area, you know, 9, 10, 11, then this, this guy here, 11.45 or 49, you get above that, then off to the races possibly on that one. I'm not in this trade, guys, just uh, Andy. Yeah, short-term play, exactly. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, SQ, that's not bad, Mark. If that thing does retrace back up, we could look at that one as well. So uh, UGAZ, yeah, we looked at that one yesterday. Um, Andy was uh, telling us up for the pop, and it popped. <laughs> but, you know, like I was telling everybody, you know, you, you get a profit like that, get the hell out. You know, now it's 52% down. Jeez. 
So right back down, guys. Uh, we did look at this one. Let's see. We opened it up on the monthly chart. Let's see if it hit our areas. Damn, right back down. Look at that. Yeah, right there. We we're saying right, right around the 230 area, 232, 245, 250. That was some resistance with the 382, and look at that. Boom, right back down. Um, I, nothing, nothing for me to do here. I, I'm not that that the trade was done yesterday. If you didn't sell on this, then and uh, yeah, they just slapped you in the face right now. Um, jeez, <clears throat> look at that. Damn, that was that was massive, Andy. Look at that one, bud. Jeez, but it's holding the 20 MA. Um, yeah, nothing to do other than shaking and baking right now. I mean, even if you were in here at 80, I, I would have been down at 8, 8 160. And then I would have saw that. I would have puked. Oh, well. But then look right back down. Um, yeah, I, I'm not touching this one. Now, it's, it's just driven by news. That was a, you know, launch. And then they just they got everyone sucked in. Now they're slapping them in the face. Pretty much like always, guys. <laughs> you know, nothing ever. You know, it, it's just funny. You know, I, I, but again, though, if you're in this thing at 80 and it hits 250, got to be out. Done. Trade's over. Why are you holding on to this thing? That, that's the killer, but that's the allure of this thing. And then you and then you start looking at the charts, and you're like, wow, this thing was an $800 stock at one point. But, yeah, but it, 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 look, we're back at 119 now. So that was, just a, that was just a massive pop, massive volume on news, all driven by, you know, whatever they were eh, usually throwing out there yesterday. So just be careful with that. <clears throat> Yeah, long target, I don't know. This thing's shaking. I mean, yesterday it was looking like it was going, but today it's looking like a turd again. Um, but long target, I mean, I, you know, yesterday I looked like it was going to go to 1,000. But long target, you know, we were talking about this one yesterday. Um, it, it could go five 553. There's a gap fill right here. But, you know, we just hit this. You know, if it can't stay above the 20 MA on the monthly, then you're probably just going to go right back down, you know, where it's been for a while. You might get another pop here, though, but I that's just not this. This isn't this is too much. I think UGA, I think it's a UNG or one of those easier to play. Which that one came right back down. But yeah, tar target. I don't know that that was probably pretty much the first area right here around the 200, 234. It, it hit it, came right back in. And then, you know, then you look at 302, 361, 427 and then the 553, even 500 even number. Oh, yeah, I, there's there's really no target. They, they're killing it today. I mean, but I guess if you want to go long, this is the time. It wasn't the other day. This is the time to do it. But I, I still, I'd let this one settle in from the news and then go from there. Oh, spies coming in, guys. <laughs> Dude, see what I'm saying, though, guys, with the spy? <clears throat> Shaking and baking now. Now we got some bad news. Hold it up. Hold it up. But now we're coming into support. This is good support, which was once resistance. This is support. That cracks through. This thing comes right back down, guys. Uh-oh. NVIDIA's falling. NVIDIA. Save NVIDIA. Someone knows something. They do. They do, guys. They know. <laughs> oh, and believe me. They, they, know, they know, guys. They know. Believe me. Spy dumping J. Yeah. <clears throat> Not dumping, but yeah, look at that, though. All of a sudden, brrr. To get everybody in. Oh, here it goes. It's good. But, you know, we had resistance up here, guys. And, again, it's it's going in the, you know, the, the volume, the lunchtime news right here. So tariffs must be on again. Let's see. Breaking news. It's got to be some some crap. <clears throat> uh, let me. Anything, anything, guys, breaking news? Let's see. Stocks rise to the highs of the day. On trade optimism, Apple gains. That's the that's the headline right now on uh, on uh, CNBC. Yes, yeah, the Apple. And remember, last last couple days, no one liked Apple. Everybody hated. Look at look at Nvidia, guys. Wow, nice little sell on the markets. I mean, nothing crazy, but nice little nice little dip though. Nice little dip do. <laughs> Hey, maybe my maybe my puts are coming alive. See, there's ones, guys. I just said it, and it's like whatever. <clears throat> if we get a good trade on these, great. If we get a shitty trade on them, great. I'm not gonna sit there and cry. Let's see though, Tilray. Man, let's see what the Tilrays are doing though. 
I mean, come on, you're ruining my Tilray trade. It, it was just coming back. Then you got to flush it out, you know. But the Tilray, we get, we took December um, calls. So we got a little time on these. And they're they're actually holding up pretty good. They're they're at four bucks right now. So heh, for all you guys on those spec plays, <laughs> I'm actually in the money on these. Little tiny bit. <laughs> so. But you know what? If they go, you know, again, if they get good news one day and the thing flies up five hundred dollars, we'll get paid on those. We got a month on those, a little bit more than a month. So it's another spec play, guys. That's a decent dump. Yeah, why not? Uh oh, help, help! <laughs> right? <clears throat> yeah, you know. Well, you bought, and we all bought. Left without taking the sour hour. Yeah, <laughs> right. Ross, uh, U.S. still plans China tariffs to increase. Yeah, you see this shit? One day, oh, they're taking, they're subsiding them. Now they're not. It's like they're probably slapping them in the face right now. Shut up. The market's got to go higher. We got NVIDIA earnings. Those are bad. It's going to be bad news. <clears throat> bad news, <laughs> right? All right, though, guys, let's see here. Um... <clears throat> gosh, NVIDIA. Dun, 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 dun. NVIDIA goes. These things, gosh. Never know. All right, let's see here. Nice little pullback, though. You know, it'll probably be led to more buying. You know, once that, once that little seller comes out, then this is going to go do, 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 like always. Like always, guys. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Here we go, guys. All right, there it goes. Starting to pop up again a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, see there. So we hit the 20 MA. What's that guy's support? We go into the uh, 272 area, which is support. Okay, we got to get more selling if this thing wants to come back a little lower. So you got to watch for that too. Let's see here. All right, so we're starting, you know, we got it. we'll see if it holds. That's a nice little sell, though. Some volume came in, so some, yeah. Look at that. Look at all the news. Look at this. And then I'm sure they're, like, they're slapping them around right now. Shut up already. You don't talk to that, that crap. <laughs> so. <clears throat> and then, boom, shaka. All right, guys, so. All right, let's let this thing settle down a little bit. Getting a little crazy. Getting a little cray-cray. <laughs> All right, that's it for that. All right, so let's see. Let's go back. <laughs> yeah, you already loaded up on puts. Exactly what you don't want to do, but hey, go for it, right? <laughs> Load it up, baby. P A N W. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, exactly. I, I tell everybody all my whole live session: don't load the house, don't load the house, and then P S L L group. I'm loading up the boat. <laughs> that's awesome, man. That's awesome. But you know, honestly, it's a fifty-fifty shot, guys. And you know, oh, look at that. Look at there's your, there's your trade, guys, right there. Look, double tap. Start at 200, and it starts going, you know, a little bit more. Oh, there it is right there. Let's go to the weekly. Yeah, nothing to do on this one. I was short in this. I was doing – this was a high flyer. Gosh. Yeah, I was going to say, this was – yeah, look at that right there. I was going to say, I remember this trade. I did this one at, at another time. Yeah, look at that. Comes in, retraces, comes in, retraces, lights out again. Uh, yeah, there's nothing to do on this one. <clears throat> Maybe around 150. Maybe. But look – Weekly chart, 
when this thing's high flying, what are the what are the price targets? 200 MA. Took a little while. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine weeks. Yeah, this it's 150 area. This one might not be bad, so keep that one on your on your era. Yeah, good call, Mark. Um, area, uh, nah, not nothing to short yet. If it pops back up, we'll short it. If it drops more, we got it. We got to you know price it with the with the with the um with or we got to trade it with the markets. Remember, if we buy a support here, good support on the on the chart here around 155, 150, 150. You got a gap filled down here at 144. The market's dump; it's going lower. That's the problem right now. If you're trying to go long and these markets sell off, it's everything's going down. So we really got to be patient on a lot of these trades. <clears throat> you know, I got people. You know, I, I pay you stock bookie. You're not putting trades out there. It's like, yeah, I'm not gonna put trades out there because you guys pay me. I'm not trading any of my trading style or, or changing it because any some people want more trades. I, that's not how I do it, guys. Sorry. <clears throat> but uh, let me look at a couple things here, guys. I got to get a handle on these markets. <clears throat> 36. All right. Area to short, yeah. ER is November, so November nineteenth. So next week on this one, if this one pops, I, I look at two hundred, two ten, somewhere up in the two twenty. If it does pop up, maybe we let it go up a little bit more. Got to see. I, I got to see what the, the what the daily chart says when um <clears throat> when we're going into earnings because that that daily chart, that last candle on a gap up on an earnings plate tells me a lot of what I'm, what how I'm going to play that gap up or gap down. So this candle here, if we had earnings in, into the close today, this candle here is going to tell me a lot what I'm going to do when I'm shorting or going long on an earnings play or day trade. That's something I'll teach you guys <clears throat> eventually. Hey, Seuss, what's up, buddy? John, quick question. Bought AMD this morning at 2080. Should I hold or should I sell before? Ooh, that's a tough one, bud. <laughs> Would you buy at 2080? Oh yeah, yeah. Dump it. I don't even take. Or sell half. Just sell half and protect it. So it is above above the 20 MA again. It could go to 22. You know, it could give you another 40 cents out of here. I don't know how big of a position. And if AM or if Nvidia has good earnings, you know, we we if this thing pops up above the gap fill tomorrow, it could go higher. But protect it. Take something off. If Nvidia is a disaster, I you know maybe AMD will get dragged down or maybe you know that, well. If everything gets dragged down, AMD will get dragged down with it. You know, you're getting a dead cat bounce from from earnings. It's a beat down name right now. You know, everyone's thinking it was at 34 bucks. This could go higher, but you know, 22 is your big area. And then the next big area is about 22.83. Leonardo, what's up, buddy? But yeah, um, gosh, you know, that's up to you. But I, I for me, if you're in at 20.80 and it's almost at 21.80, that's a hell of a trade. That's a five six percent trade, man. Take something off. If you have a hundred shares. Sell 75, go in with 25. If it pops up tomorrow, you get another buck or two, take the 50 bucks and say, see you later. If you got a bigger position, that's fine too. But, you know, I'm just saying with 100 shares. Or so let's say if you have 1,000 shares, even better, I'd be, I would have been done with that one at 500 buck profit. I don't mess around, guys, in these markets. You get profits, you take them. You start piling them up every day, 100 here, 300 there, 400 there, 600 there, 200 there. By the end of the week, you'll have, you're up three grand. Little profits. That's all that matters. Little profits. Sure, I will sell half. Thanks. <laughs> you know, you know me, man. Well, you, you're a new member, so you, you'll you'll get to know what I you know like to do. I, I get profits. I'm done. I'm, and I wish I would have took the spy profits when it was pulling back. That was a great trade. Options were up almost a buck. But you know, I got such a small position. It's like, eh. you know, if I had a, if I had a large position, I would have said thank you very much. Even fifty cents, I would have said see you later. <clears throat> but you know, spice catching another bid, guys. They're not holding this. But remember, we made the low. We made a higher low on AMD, so it it is trending up. We're getting back above the twenty MA, so it's looking pretty good. It's not that bad. So, but if Nvidia and everything gets clobbered, guys, it's lights out. Everything's going back down. So just protect the trade. You don't want to wake up and then you're you're gapping down and you're underwater on the trade. Then, uh, laser denies reports of the tariffs on China on hold. Yeah, that you see more crap. Here they go, guys. One guy saying they got them. Next guy saying no. Next guy saying no. You're nuts. Keep throwing it out. That's why I don't. I don't listen to the news, guys. I don't even have CNBC on. Usually, I have it in the background. So when I walk by, I kind of maybe catch something. But remember, if spy pulls back. This will pull back. That's the problem with these trades. 
You know, everything's grinding higher with the SPY right now. Look, SPY down. You got that three, three 30 minute pullback on the SPY. Then the SPY goes up, chops around, SPY moves up, boom. SPY's moving down right now. What's this one doing? Moving down. SPY sells off into the close. You, you might be underwater on this trade. But good one. I mean, you took it, you know, at, you know, this would have been the spot to take it right when the SPY was filling the gap. And that's when everything caught a bid. SPY dumps it out. I mean, we could be at the lows of the day. And then, then you're upside down on this trade going, damn, should I take the 300 bucks? Burr. You know, in one trade, and when, you know that people make that in a day, three, four hundred bucks. You can make this in a couple hours. You know, that's that's the best part. <laughs> oh, jeez. But uh, but yeah, so uh, sure, I will sell half. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Do you know? Again, it, it, if I tell you not to sell, this thing drops, and it's like ah. If I tell you at least at least lock something in, even if it drops. You did what now? Twenty eighty. You sold right up here. Say that's so almost a buck. So now, if you're half out, if this thing falls to you know twenty forty, twenty thirty, you're you're still leaving on the trade. So you got a little bit of wiggle room. If it pops up with Nvidia, if if Nvidia goes up tomorrow or tonight, then hey, you're in the driver's seat. So what? It goes up another buck. Pull it off. Thank you very much. Because man, you know, spy. Look, spy's catching a bid right now. What are we doing? We're bound. We're going up now. Yeah, see, see, let's see what the news is doing. Jeez, there you go. No tariffs. Oh, no, they got tariffs. They're all on hold. Oh, no, they're not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Trump's going to have to tweet sooner or later. They're all on hold. I need the markets to go up. <laughs> you know, some, something like that. <laughs> But uh, what else here? That one, save my puts. Yeah, no, look at that, right back up. Damn it. They're, they're just depleting the puts right now, especially the ones that could expire tomorrow. They're killing everybody. Pretty much what they've been doing. Wow, Tesla actually came back too. Yeah, this is all news driven now, guys. So just uh, sit on your hands. Let's see what NVIDIA does um, at the close. And that's really going to give us the direction tomorrow. Um, right now, I think they're trying to get the markets as high as they can. And if NVIDIA has good earnings, even better. It keep the rally going and uh, and keep going. And that, that's all it can really do. Gosh. Guys, if you're new to the room, punch in the symbol. Let's take a look at some other stuff. Uh, what other things do I want to look at? Tesla. Tesla not doing much. I mean, it came right back in. You know, look at the intraday. Pretty much following the SPY. Daily chart, same thing, just chopping around. Inside bar pattern, it goes up. If it can't get above that 350 area, Tesla's going to just keep chopping. Then I think if the markets come in, boom, it's going to come down. <clears throat> KBH. That's a, is that the home builder? That, that's getting the beat down, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. Jeez. So apparently, maybe earnings or something. Uh, I want to see the weekly. Did you look at CMG? Yeah, CMG hit that 500 area and just freaking boom right right down uh, weekly gosh yeah had nothing to do with this one here's your trend line it's breaking down we had a retrace breaking down again uh, 12 bucks and you got some pivots here at 15 12 yeah 12 1240 yeah with this little pivot too there there's your big area right here it's and it's coming right to it guys this, this is going to be big 14 15 area and then the 1242. This thing gets the 1242. You give me an alert on this one. That one's a good one right there with it. That's a major trend line. That cracks. This thing's going to be a $10 stock. But look at that. They got everybody in, guys. 618 retrace. They're sucking them out. Margin calls, guys. Margin calls. So, yeah, watch for that one. Let's look at the monthly just to see the bigger time frame. Yeah, look at that. You're starting to get back below all the MAs. Yeah, that, that's your area right in here. Let's 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 take this one off, though. Look, that's your high pivot there. Look where it went to, 618. I want to take it to this area, though, right here. Yeah, that's that's your area. Now, that, that's it's not bad right here, guys. It's got to hold this $20 area, $19 area, and then possibly higher prices on this one. But, yeah, you came through this trend line right here, and that's lights out. Um, I'd be looking, yeah. Towards the thirteen seventy four twelve dollar area. Look at that! You got some long candles on these monthlies, starting to go into this area. 
Got the little pivot around 1249. That's your area. Let it fall. Let it fall. Markets pull back. It's going lower. Um, you warned me about that. Which one? Close at 20. Yeah. Did I? Did I? Did, yeah. Just be careful. Uh, a bit of a stretch, but uh, Dell came back into the market. DV, it's near the highest. Dell. <laughs> Wilson, what are you looking at, buddy? <laughs> D, what is it? D, B, M, T. Oh, did I warn you about that one, Abe, with lower prices coming? Yeah, that, that's a tough one. And then here we go. We're dribbling down now. Just be careful. I mean, it, it could be a $12 stock. Wow, look at that one. Woo, high flyer. What's the volume on this? Not bad volume, though. Man, look at that. Hmm, let's get the daily real quick here. Did we get a retrace? Wow. Um, yeah, guys, if you want to, it's not bad. Not a bad setup. If you want to short this one, short it. Um, gosh, I, DVMT, I, this Dell you were saying? Nah, time to buy UGA. Nah, let, let that one come lower. Ooh, markets are pulling back a little more, guys. Look at look at Nvidia coming in, coming in. High flyer. Now nah, we we still got a little time. This will be interesting. What we'd happen to the close? <clears throat> All right, Dell. Yeah. Same is the Dell VMware tracking stock. Oh gosh, I yeah, I don't know. Um, it's not bad. I I I'm not shorting it, but yeah, if you want to give this one a stab, that's not bad. I mean, 70, 80 bucks would be the target. But, you know, if this thing pulls back to 92, 95, just get the hell out. I do like the setup here. I, I would like it if it came back down and then retraced up and then we can do it. When's earnings? Is this earnings with this one, too, as well? <clears throat> Watch that one, too, because I'd, ra I'd rather see the retrace after this pop. Let them bring it down. Let them bring it back up and then we'll take it. I mean, this is still this still isn't bad because you still have the 20 MA down here on the daily, which is at 95. It's a little bit stretched. Doesn't mean it can't go up a little bit more. This could this could have been the start of the selling right here. But if you want to go short that one, I have no problem with that one. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> AMZ, the bull saved it, um, saved it below 1600 again. <clears throat> um, yeah, they're trying. Let's see, uh, let's see where the closing price is. I'm still following the, a lot of these charts. I'm following the weekly. I would have loved to have filled this gap down here. I still think we have one more wave down. I still think 1350 on Amazon is going to be hit. It's all said and done. And then uh, once 1350 is hit, if that does not hold right in here, this 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 little this little thing uh, pivot low, then you got uh, 1273. And then my uh, my area where I'll be going long Amazon is right around a thousand, if it makes it there. And you get you get you get this starting up. We'll get short term retraces. This thing's going to grind to a thousand. We get the markets pull back massively. This will be a thousand dollar stock, and that's where stock bookie will be loading the house. Well, ten percent position, and you know maybe at thirteen fifty two around in here. It all depends on the overall markets, guys. Markets bounce. These will go higher. Markets stay uh, selling, and the, everything's going lower. Bottom line. Um, CRM. Yeah, trying to hold, trying to hold this 50, 50 MA here. I'm um, still weak. Look at that high flyer. <clears throat> Look at the monthly. Jeez, 115, guys. If, if you want to go short, if you're long, tighten the stops. If you want to go short, let this thing retrace, and then we short. If it comes back down, hits this, and retraces, that's when we're going to short. Um, chasing it down, you just can't do it. If you're already short, just hold on to it. 115 is the first level, and then I, I wouldn't doubt this goes to 100 bucks. Markets start to dump. It will go to 100. All right, guys, so NVIDIA is coming back in. Um, we'll see how those turn out. And then, uh, yeah, CRM, tough trade right now. Um, if you're if you're long, just tighten that stop. You know, this is the area. It's got, it's got to hold 128. If it doesn't hold, then you're going to start dribbling. And you're, you've got some gaps to fill. You got, yeah, you got a lot of damage. I mean, damage is already done here, guys. Say, it's doing the same thing, guys. I can't say it enough. Down. Short-term retrace, more selling, short-term retrace, and the more selling, short-term re. They're getting bulls on, bulls on, bulls on. Every time they get bulls on, they're going to dump it in their face. And then Spy starts selling and everything, phew, lights out, guys. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm holding those. My, my position is small enough. I don't care. John, what's your average position hold time? Uh, it, 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 there really isn't an average. I would love to be in trades in and out in a day. Sometimes I, I've been in trades a year. I've been in trades six months. I've been in trades 50 minutes. Um, swing trades, it, 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 it's hard to say if the, if it's monthly chart plays, 
It could be a month or two. If it's a daily chart, I'm looking to get in, get out, you know, in the next week or two. Sometimes they, you know, sometimes they go up against you. Trades like this, they're hard. You, you know, you're starting to go, you know, let's look at the monthly. I think, I think there's a double top or anything though. Nope. Like this one, look at this. It's the Eiffel, Eiffel freaking tower. So when you start shorting it, say maybe 100, 110, 120, 130, and this thing just keeps going up. There's really no, no areas. You know, so you got to play these where, you know, gosh, I, I know if I'm short 140 on CRM, I was underwater, you know, bleeding 20, 25 bucks, but I know my target's 115, so I got to hold this thing. Yeah, like like Tilray. I was holding, but man, once it started pulling back, that was it. But these high flyers are hard to pick off sometimes. There's no technical in the areas up here other than mathematical numbers. I kind of came up with a system where, hey, this is the areas where I'm going to start short. But we, I had to know if I'm going to do a fifty thousand dollar position short in this one, I'm going to start with five grand, knowing that if I start at one twenty five because it's already blasted through a hundred, I know at one thirty I got to add, one thirty five I got to add, one forty I got to add. So I got to go slow and steady, get my average position around one forty, knowing that my price target's one fifteen or the twenty MA, and if that gives out, next price target's fifty MA around ninety. So I know if I'm stuck in this trade around 140, I know I got time on a monthly chart. I know I'm in shares. I got time. That's when you know that I know my target prices. And believe me, I've been in some trades that are disasters. But you know what are you going to do? Let's look at CMG though. The guy punched up CMG. Yeah, it, it, it got to hit this thing perfectly. And uh, yeah, I'm stuck in a short in this one. And then, you know, here we go. You know, this one, you know, I've been in this, I've been in this one a long time. But, ooh, look at this one, though, guys. This is interesting. We talked about this. Left shoulder, head. I said, and down here, I said, let's see if it can create a shoulder. Ooh, this thing comes down, guys. This will be on. I will get paid on my damn short on this one. But, you know, I was stuck in wind. Wind just went up and up and up and up. And I was like, holy crap. You know, like, you know, you know, it goes from 84 to 200, guys, you know, in, in what, a year. It's like, come on, 100%, whatever. But I add, I, I, I don't know what my last position, my average price was right around 145, 148. I think I got it average too. Yeah, I was bleeding out my you-know-what. When we had the nice little topping tail, look what it did. Topping tail, retraced it. I knew right there it was like, ah, oh, this is it. And then, bam, we got paid. Yeah, I was stuck in this thing, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, almost a year. Got paid. And of course I covered it and it went down lower, you know, but oh well. We traded this one like 17 times in here. I went over this trade before. And hey Donkey, if you're listening, look what I did before. You know, you know no skills. <laughs> I know you're I know you're out there. Right here. We shorted here, covered there, 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 and then it went up. Then it just kicked my ass. So I traded this thing seven times before it kicked my ass. You think I took profits on this thing? Massive profits seven times. And then it went up. It was like, damn. It's like, all right. I'm going to have to take it on the chin. I mean, it was consolidating in a bullish manner. It's sloppy choppy. Then it took off. But come on, 100% a year. I knew the monthly chart play though tough tough one. But look at look at these moves. Damn, look at that though. I knew it was going on. I was like, man, they got me on this one. But you know what? I'm holding strong. Went up here, filled this gap, 200 even number, lights out, got paid. But my positions are under they're under 10 percent, guys. I, I you can handle that pain. If I was all in, oh my god, I would have been done. I would have lost my ass. With Spice catching another bounce, and Nvidia is catching another bounce. Look at that! Nvidia goes down, everything goes down. It's, it's interesting. Yeah, as people don't know what to do right now with Nvidia, they're like, "Oh my gosh, do we go long? Does it come down more? Oh my gosh!" Yeah, Dell twelve six was earnings, Wilson. Yeah, just be careful with that one. Off, I, I would wait for the pop if it pops and short it. Um, don't go long on it. It's way too way too much. I sold half NVIDIA holding half in the earnings. Yeah, exactly. Any way to go. That's how you got to do it. VMware has gone. Um, VMware has had good earn, earnings. Yeah, the VMware. Yeah, that one's doing all right, too. Got to keep taking the yeah, keep that. I can't say it enough. Keep taking profits. 350 is your price target on Amazon. Great. Thousand would be sweet. Yeah, right, Mark? I would, I would love to see 950, 750 on that one. Then people would have to buy it. We get the rally. 
I'm holding my shorts. Yep, me too, Carmela. I'm holding those puts. Um, John, what's your average position holding time? Um, yeah, it, 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 it's hard to say. You know, I do so many different things. You know, like like, like Netties today. We had a great short on Netties. I'm, I'm done with that trade. That was, a, that was more of a day trade. It could have turned into a disaster. It could have went up. We might have had to hold. But, you know, I took a nice size position. Boom. Got in, got out, and done. I, would, I wish they were all like that. Believe me. I, I Actually, I wouldn't be doing this. I'd be a millionaire. I'd be on my boat right now. Actually, no, I would be doing this because I enjoy, I, I enjoy talking to you guys. A lot of these trades I wouldn't have found. A lot of these, the, the Netties trade we talked about. The, um, what other trades? The GOOS. That was an epic one, too. Yeah, where's that one at today? Where's that one? Yeah, see, that's grinding higher now. That was an epic one. We took that one short right up in here. Still in the quarter position. That's it. And we'll see if we get in more. You know, I, I'm okay with that. If you're holding the quarter or if you took it all off down here, whatever. You know, just make sure, you know, if you're if you're taking half, take the half off. If, if you hold a quarter into this, great. If you sold it, great. You know, I, I'm trying to get a little bit more on these trades, but then sometimes it's just like, you know what, I'm done. I'm, not, I'm, I'm done. I don't care anymore. Taking the money, I'm running. Again, you don't go broke when you're taking profits, period. You only go broke when you hold options to zero. And you know who I'm talking to. <laughs> oh, man, it's funny stuff. Got you, thank Yeah, no problem, man. Uh, Jay suddenly turned around and dropped my average uh, this morning is $100.27 at 300 shares going long. Yeah, man. Could go to zero, though. Just, just beware. ACP. Ooh, look at that. Woo! Going on fire. Nice, man. 127. Cool. Protect it, though. Well, how many 300 shares? Yeah, it, 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 yeah I, I have a bigger position than that, but that's 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 perfect, man. If it goes to zero, you're only going to lose 300. Look at that. Dollar four it went to. Jeez. But now just hold. <clears throat> what we're watching for on JCP, guys. I'm in this one with you guys, too. I have a pretty decent size position. We got to get over the 20 MA, this 143. We get over that that one. Next step is 159. Then the next step is 164. It's basically, the moving average is on the daily chart. If this thing really starts to rumble. We could get back to 251 up in this area and gap fill. If we get up there, I'll be pull, I'll be taking my money and saying thank you. And that would be it. I mean, maybe maybe a little higher. We'll, we'll, again, we'll see. We'll see how the art markets are reacting, what they're doing, if we're rallying, if we're selling, and stuff like that. So, oh, on T, sorry, Abe. Let me see. <clears throat> I know you asked me that before. Um, nah, it's doing the same crap again. Get you get the down, short term retrace, more selling. Short term retrace, more selling. Um, you got a gap to fill right here at twenty nine sixty four, <clears throat> and we have double bottom down here. Uh, let's see with a retrace. We might be at the 750 retrace or the blue line. Yeah, look at that. So <clears throat> if it doesn't hold this 30 area, we're probably going to go down and fill the gap and go down to double bottom. Market stump, it will definitely do that. Um, let me look at the bigger time frames just to see. Um, yeah, you got this big bar. You got the retraces. That's ugly. Um, yeah, you got pivots. You got a big gap filled down here too. 2744, you got another gap and you got some pivots. I just want I want to go a little bit further. I want to see if there's any trend lines or anything. <clears throat> Let's go to the monthly. See, monthly you could see it a little bit clearer. You know, if I go to bigger time frames, guys. I just want to see if there's anything have yeah, yeah. <clears throat> You made the high, lower high, came back, retraced up, came back, retraced up, came back, retraced up, came back. Yeah, I mean, that, I think this is your bigger, even even your bigger area where it's got a hold right there, this little pivot there, around 30.94. That if that if this doesn't hold, yeah, you're gonna go to 20. You're just gonna you're just gonna go down. Market sell. This one's going lower. Oops, sorry guys. <clears throat> but no, nothing to do really on here. Um, you're below the MAs on on the monthly time frame. You're below the MAs on the daily time frame, weak stance. Markets are weak, yeah, even on the weekly. Yeah, nothing to do yet. Uh, if you start breaking above the 20 MA on all the time frames, starting getting above those, then maybe markets start to rally, then yes. Um, look at that. There, there's this whole holding these markets up now waiting on uh nvidia guys nvidia 
<clears throat> CNBC hype headline is stocks rise on trade hopes. Yeah, there you go, Bob Bassani. There you go. And and what are we doing, guys? We're we're pushing up again. But T, don't touch this one yet. If anything, if you want to get interested, maybe around twenty seven bucks, twenty eight bucks down in this area. If that area cracks, we're we're most likely going lower. But see what I'm saying though? Down sideways retrace, down sideways retrace. Do we go down sideways retrace and just keep going with that pattern? Just watch out. You're starting to trend down on this one a little bit. You're weak on the moving averages underneath all of them on the time frames. You, you got to even on the what on the ten minute. What are, where are you on the ten? <clears throat> you're even on. You're on every time frame. You're below the moving average, so it's a weak stance. Yeah. So more. Yeah. Pump that news out. No problem, Abe. Yeah. Just be careful with this name. No, nothing to do. Better stocks to trade or go short or go long. You know. Um, God, JCP though. Let's go back to that. Damn. <clears throat> oh, look at that shit. But you got to think, though, someone bought it a buck and it's at a buck 42. You know, that's a pretty good trade. You buy 10,000 shares. Look at the volume coming in here, though, guys. Someone, someone knows something. But look at that, though. Some big seller comes and just takes it out. Damn. All right. So our, our JCP trade was doing pretty good up to about three minutes ago. <laughs> and then... And then a uh, big seller came in and dumped in our face. <laughs> so, But no, I'm holding this one, guys. Y you know that if we could get back above these moving averages, we might be able to get a nice little short squeeze going. And uh, maybe that's what's going on here. A lot of shorts are just getting the hell out of this thing at a buck and saying, oh, my gosh, I'm done. You know, that that you could probably see some of that, too. <clears throat> oh, my gosh, this is the funny stuff. So, wait, headline is, oh, uh, what's the headline now? Let me click on it. S&P poised to snap five-day losing stream as shares of Apple and J.P. Morgan are railing. You know, shit like that. Oh, GS. I think I think another someone asked me what GS. GS up. Yeah, it's uh, barely. This thing, they're trying. They're you know they got to hold this one up. This is critical areas for this one. But you're still down. You're still sideways. Still not in a good stance, guys. Goldman's going lower. <clears throat> Damn. You know, that's why uh, WB, Buffett, you know, uh, yeah, um, yeah, I bought more bank stocks today. I really did. Me, Warren Buffett, I really did. There's your big line for, for, for uh, Goldman. 160, guys, 150 area, somewhere in here. If this thing goes straight down into it, that's what you want to see. But well, I guess if, if it does crack these areas here, then you better step aside. This, this is going a lot lower. Yeah, but now we're just chopping up and down, <clears throat> trying to deplete the puts. Deplete the puts. Uh, GS. Oh, let's see here. JCP. Uh, yeah, it was earnings. I know that. Yeah, the losses were better than expected. G oh, were they? <laughs> the, yeah. That's the, Instead of losing $14 million, they only lost $11 million this time. <laughs> you know, so. But, uh, yeah, but still, I mean, JCP, we're playing that as a long. It's just a spec play. You got to give it a shot down here, See, unless it goes out of business. I mean, it's at the it's at the all time lows, guys. You you, you got to give it a shot. <laughs> Period. Again, it's you're playing it like an option where it could go to zero or go bankrupt. So just just don't load the house in this thing. If you if if, if you can't lose a hundred bucks, then don't then don't do the trade. If you if you can lose a thousand bucks, then then go with a thousand. It's it's like an option, guys. If it pops, you know, maybe do a thousand shares at a thirteen eighty. If it pops, great. Then boom, and do it. Thousand shares, get a couple bucks out. Say thank you very much. On to the next one, guys. The losses, yeah, kind of like Tesla. Tesla, they sold a bunch of cars, but instead of losing seven billion, they only lost six point five billion last quarter. Huh? Tesla's great. Buy the dip. They only lost. They only lost billions instead of seven billion. <laughs> And I was like, what? We just bleed bleed cash every every quarter, but we're doing great. <laughs> it's like wow. Oh, that 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 company too is like damn. Uh, I used to consult a guy and he used to tell me that's that's that that company's a huge, big scam. I don't know if it is, but but wow. Crazy stuff. So we're up 100 and what uh, 60 on the Dow, holding gains, um, chopping around now. You know, they got the markets to catch a bid. Um, with the light volume through the lunchtime session, like always, that's pretty standard. Lunchtime float, they get it going. Uh, we made the low, higher low, 
kind of a pivot low here. So we're in, you know, we're in pretty good um, shape here. Just grinding away. Basically news is dry. You know, tariffs gone. Nope. Tariffs are on hold. Nope. Tariffs are gone. Nope. Tariffs are on hold. So now we're just playing with news, but it did come back into the, which was, was resistance. This is support now around the 272 uh, area. So that's where we're holding here and the 20 MA. So, you know, if they could get it above the 200 MA, oh my gosh, that, that's their, that's, they still have 40 minutes guys. They could, or 20 minutes, they could probably pop it above there. But uh, that's something to watch for. And here they go. That's the level, I think, right here, guys. And when that news came out, it was like, ah, couldn't do it. Now here they go again. Squeeze. You can do it. You can. Light volume. 109, well, 109 million, not bad. Volume came in here, though, guys, on the little bit of selling. Someone was like, click, I'm out. <laughs> that's it. I'm not messing around. <clears throat> I'm watching this one, though, guys. We're still in half of this one, and this one's been making lows. Um, gosh, I mean, we're holding these bottoms. Damn, I should have just pulled it off right here. But um, we're, we're in the driver's seat on this one. I want to see what NVIDIA brings tomorrow. Uh, let's go. Uh, yeah, I wanted to ask why you use the 10-minute intraday and not the 5. Um, the, the 10 minutes easier to control. Um, the the one-minute chart so quick. It's hard to see the patterns because you're, you're just, I mean, look at the one minute chart here. I'll go to spy spice a little bit better. I mean, look at, look at the spy one minute. It's just like, brr, it's crazy. I mean, you're kind of look at, I mean, look at the one minute though. You're catching the, the 200 MA down here. I mean, then you, you know, just bounce and bounce and bounce and bounce it. But there's so much data here. You know, this is when we were falling and look at that. I mean, it's just, it's just kind of, just too much, too fast. We go right to there. We go right back down. I mean, that's what it's holding here. I mean, you can use it if you want to. I just find that the 10 minute is a little bit easier to manage. You know, you don't get to just a uh, three pops up, three pops down, three pops up, three pops down. This takes a little more to say, oh, hey, okay, we could get above this area and pop and close. I want to see more follow through. We didn't get it, went to resistance and came right back down. Now, on the one minute chart, it's just, it's just like a flipping disaster. This is where we hit it. <clears throat> and then we're just kind of down. It's just like, whoa, 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 whoa. And then, oh, oh, and then little, I mean, you can see, all right, you know, you want to, you want to look at intraday analysis here, guys. All right. So we catch the bottom gap fill goes up a little bit of consolidation here. They drop, you know, they're just dropping and pop and dropping and pop. We pop up, come back in. What do we do? Retrace. They drop it again. Nice little bearish pattern. Drop it again. Retrace right back up to the, this high, basically at 273, even number this little high pivot right back down holding the 20 MA or the 200 MA and trying to hold this as well right around 271.53. Now they're shooting it up and now, you know, now it's like, all right, let's see. So we're back into this area as well. Let's see what we do here. We come back, retrace, come back down, come back, retrace. We're just, you know, sloppy and choppy on the one minute, five minutes, not bad, but you see how it's, it's just easier now. Now it's kind of just, just it's slower. I should say, <clears throat> I like the 30 minute or one hour candles myself. Yeah. Z catching a bid finally. Um, hold on. I want to. Yeah. So that that's why, you know, I found this one works the best for me. Maybe the five minute works the best for you. I mean, you can see, well, we had that. We had the 20 MA down here on the one minute. You had the 200 MA holding it up. I mean, you can have these time frames too. If you're really doing it, a lot of intraday, you know, uh, scalping and stuff like that. Have the one minute, the five minute and the, and the 10 minute. You know, I got the 60 minute up here. See how we go up. Now we're consolidating. Now, if we get if we get back below 271.64 on the 60 minute close, but we still have, well, we're not going to do it today. But tomorrow, if we close below that, you know, we could be, you know, see it's a little more selling. So, but see on this one, see how this buy, it's like, oh man, it's selling now. Now look at the 10 minute one. <clears throat> you're not, you're just, you're just pushing down a little bit. Nothing crazy. That's why I don't want to see a big elongated candle. Now in 10 minute, you start seeing big candles, then you, you better look out. But Nvidia is still up a couple bucks. Um, let's see, NTAP. Let's see, NTAP. NTAP. Yeah. Um, let's look at a month. Let's go right to the big time frame, guys. Yeah, look at that. 50, 60 bucks, guys. Still, ah, that was a high flyer, too. Damn. Did it go into double top or anything? Ah, uh, yeah. Not bad, but look at this, though. Let's see. No, let's see. <clears throat> it's 
the high pivot. Let's take it from this guy here. Yeah, look at that, guys. Hmm. And then let's let's see if we can put a fib. This is a big Fibonacci though, from the, the from the low there to that high. Yeah, still a little more. Not bad. Fifty percent retrace. You got the trend line ninety. I I would have waited maybe for a hundred, but um, nothing to do on this. Let it fall. Um, maybe around the sixty dollar, fifty eight dollar area. But honestly, this could be a forty three dollar stock if everything pulls in. <clears throat> nice retrace though. Look at that. Boom, boom, and it comes back in. Boom. Every time it launches, it comes right back in, guys. And then if you do a measured move, here, here's how long it took to, you know, come back in. Now, you know, let's see, let's see that move. Look at that. So that that was even a little more stretched. <clears throat> These are measured moves, guys. Look at that. So that that took it that long to pull back. Now look at this one. Way and, that, and then went a little bit further, and then voila. That's a couple other things we look for, guys. Um, but yeah, watch out for this one. I mean, you see the trend line there, hits that, comes back in below the 50% retrace now, um, heading for 60 bucks. Spy and everything sells. This will be definitely a $59 stock, if not 50. Um, again, we'll be looking for bounce areas, just not now. The market's got to catch a catch a you know low or catch a good area. The 260 area on the spy was good. I'd like the 250 area a little bit lower. But yeah, this thing's getting to beat down today a little bit, possibly earnings. But on the daily chart. Let's see. I mean, you got a little bit different story, but you know, you're trying to hold this pivot here. If it can't hold the 70, 48, or 70 dollar area, you're, you're gonna you're gonna start coming down, filling gaps, and then you got the big gap down here, right around 45, 70. Even the gap window here at 51, that's not bad. But yeah, you get that ugly, and they don't get a bounce. <clears throat> and usually, this is this is a weaker gap down. Or actually, actually. <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, yeah, you got the bounce, but man, look at that same thing. Look at that down, pivot, down, pivot, down. This that's pretty much the what they're doing, and some are going a little bit higher. You you know you're you know if you could catch them, and then down. So um, nothing to do with this one, for me at least. Um, Zillow, is that, you said it's catching a bid finally. Is it Z? Yeah, barely. <laughs> it's it's trying. A lot of her, I guess, the maybe earnings right here. Um, try and hold, holding the blue line though, the 28, 28 bucks. As long as it holds that 28 area, not saying it's going to be fine, but that, that, oh yeah, shit, still, still has lower. Yeah, 28's the, the, the last line of defense, guys. Then you got 25, 20, and so on. Be careful with this name. Nothing to do. I'd, I'd wait for 20, maybe 15. Market's dumped. This will be a $20 stock. Like the 30 minute or hourly candles. Yeah, I follow the 60 minute, the 10 minute, the daily, weekly, monthly. Been watching GS calls. Noticed the price per contract that yesterday, all time low, or even lower today than they were yesterday. And the price, yeah, yeah, because they're depleting it. They're, it's just holding. They're, decay, they're, they're de decaying them. They're killing them on both sides. Up a little bit on, on GS. And then there'd be, the problem is, is that GS hasn't gone anywhere, it's just chopping around. Yeah, we're we're green today a little bit. It doesn't matter. This thing's a beat down name right now, and it, and it, I think it's got more pain to come. So j just be careful, guys. Yeah, the options just decaying. Done. They're probably decaying on both sides. Look at the look at the puts and the calls. They're probably going to. They're both going to zero. Kind of like uh, my buddy's trade in <laughs> Goldman Sachs, right? The zero. Keep people keep holding. We have time. Uh, buy S W N. S W N. Let's see. Um, uh, not bad. I, the, the more down here would, would have been the area, the three dollar. The I mean, of course, you see the charts now; it's easy. Um, but if it can't get above this pivot, right around the five sixty one, it's going to have some problems. Um, I mean, it's trying to make a move above the 50 on the or the 20 MA. Let's look at the smaller time frame. Uh, yeah, here's your pivot right there, right there, and then up in here. This is where it stalled out. Um, I wouldn't buy. Let it come down lower. Let's see if we could get lower prices on this one. Um, yeah, I mean, this is this is this isn't for me. Um, I mean, it was a three dollar stock, three fifty went to six bucks. You got some takers, almost a hundred percent. They're starting to dump. 
uh, markets start to come in a little more, um, they, they'll they'll probably sell these off. There goes Nvidia, guys, up now. <laughs> um, but I, I like what you're looking at. Um, you know, it's a, it's a bottom feeding play. Um, you are still above the moving averages on the weekly time frame, so that's a little more bullish. Um, I mean, if you want to go long, you can. If it starts to slip below these moving averages and five bucks, you got to get out. And then you know, and then if it goes back to three bucks or three fifty, three sixty area, buy it. And then that will be your stop. Whatever the all time low is, three forty eight. That's going to be your exit. Um, yeah, if it holds the moving averages, you should be all right. If it doesn't, then uh, you're going to have to exit. But this is yeah, this thing's been low flying for a while. It's the pop, comes back in. Sucks more bulls in, basically, and then, you know, wax them again, basically. I plan to sign up there. Are you, are most of your trades in a private Twitter feed, uh, swing trades or day trades? A little bit of both, Mark. Um, like today, we took that um, uh, Netties trade. That was one that we put on there. Um, and then, you know, I, when I get more members on board that can actually do live sessions, I don't have a lot of people that do live sessions yet. I will, though. Um, once I get to, I would like to have, you know, 100 people, 50 people. I'd like to have 500 people, everybody looking at stuff and trading. That's when we'll find more trades and make more money. I mean, it'll be a little bit, a little bit harder on me because it will be a lot of people, you know, hitting me with trades and stuff. But I'd like to go with the go to meeting too. And get something on go to meeting where everyone everyone can talk as well. So we're all talking in the room and everyone, hey John, hey Paul, hey Mark, hey this, hey, we're all looking at USO. What do you think? You know, where we could bounce off ideas. But we found a bunch of good trades in here from these guys in these live sessions where we where we took and made good money. And that's what I'm trying to do here, guys. I can't keep an eye on everything. But if you know, if you guys are doing if you guys are looking at stuff like like Goose, I would have never have traded that one. That one was a great trade. The Netties, we had um, Andy in here. We were talking about that. So I was like, wait a minute, they have earnings. Wow, we're going to take a look at that one. That was a great trade. And then what uh, What I do in Twitter, you know, um, even even on the on the Netties one today, you know, it went up it went up a little higher on us. Let's look. Let's look at the ten minute, which is okay because I I knew what I was looking at. Two thirty eight, two forty two was the area. The highest I was thinking it could go is two fifty. So if we were in this trade, ten dollars in pain, I would most likely be in, and then you have a gap fill a little bit higher even. So when you're taking this trade, you know, we took it right at we averaged in, we had two forty sixty seven. Here, let me see. And uh you gotta know what, you know, if this thing goes up, you gotta know what's going on here. You don't wanna get slapped in the face. And then next thing you know, it's just like, oh my gosh, what am I doing? So when you're going in a trade and you know it's going to go a little bit higher, you know, or it could, you know. So this this is this is the post that I did on Twitter. So we started at two thirty nine fifty because you know, looking look at here's here's the daily because I'm playing off the bigger time frames. Shoot, all right. So right right here. Off this pivot, 238.41, that's going to be a good area right there to start the position. So if it goes through, and then 240 even number, and then you got 242 area. Okay, that's your gap window. So I knew going up into this <clears throat> at 238, let's see if we could get a pierce, maybe a buck or two, maybe go to 240. But then they started stalling it out. It was just like, oh, I don't think it's going to make it to 240. I didn't want to miss this trade because... Um, what I was looking at, you know, from yesterday. Um, so we added more at 241.85, almost at the next area, at the 242 area. And now, you know, and I was saying to my members, now we need the SPY to drop. So we got the SPY to sell off, you know, so, you know, now we got the SPY. And if you go to the SPY, you know, 20 minutes into it, we started selling off. <clears throat> you know, we started, you know, we had a little bit of a bid, but then we started moving down to the gap fill. So I was looking at Natties. You got to take these trades, and the and it's, the spy's got to work with. So as soon as the spy started selling, I knew okay, this is the time. Call a little bit of a bid here, led to more a little more selling, and then we were done. You know, we were taking that. You know, so here, spy to drop. We covered half. We covered half of the half, and then we're holding the quarter position. And then when it's dropped below the two thirty, I was like done. You know, Natties take the money and run. That's it. So you know, and I and I, I got you members. I got to protect you. Even if I'm holding, I'll still punch in there. I'm, I'd sold. You know, I, I if I have a massive position in this one, 
I'll 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 just start taking it off. I don't care. I'll be all out at uh, two thirty five and be done. If I if I have two three four thousand shares on this one, if I'm going to make twenty grand, guys, I'm out. But for you guys taking small positions, you know, come in, take half, take half, and then the quarter. And I knew right here coming into the two thirty area, we were coming to the twenty MA, and then on the spy, we were coming into gap fill. It was just like you know what I got I got to take this off the table. Once we filled the gap and it was coming up, it was just like, all right, that's it. I'm done. And then 20 MA on here. So good support. That's it. 230 even number. I'm done. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm on to the next one. So 920. See where the spy started bouncing. This one, this one started bouncing at 840. So it was a little bit earlier. But yeah, I was once it hit that area, I knew it could bounce. And it was like, that was it. I'm done. So that's what I'm trying to do with my members too. And uh and that's it. Just keep it simple. Um, I post swing trades. <clears throat> I have a position sheet too on my site. All my positions are on there. Um, a lot of the day trades I don't have on there. I mean, I'll, I'll put them on there here and there just to show people, hey, this was a day trade, stuff like that. But then as um, when you could go on to the uh, Twitter site, and if you go settings and privacy, um, you can go um, notifications. And then you have a section in there. Um, there was a email. Oh, mobile. Go under mobile, and then you can add your phone number in there. So when I when I give you a uh, a message or alert in Twitter, you get a text alert as well. So it's pretty cool. So I, I like to keep it simple. I, I don't want to go forty two places when I'm punching in trades and punching in this and telling you guys to get out and posting on Twitter, posting on Facebook, posting on here, posting on my site. I want one place. That's it. I don't want multiple places. I want everything in, in one spot and that's it. Good stuff. The scale and the scale out and both longs and shorts is what I do. Yeah, you, you have to. You know, that's the stuff, you know, I mean, get some profits. Take them. Take them and run. Look at Twilio. We're out of, we're out of everything, but, um, you know, it's still, it's still in a little position on the on a swing trade. But um, but ninety there you go ninety one, pulling back again. But I I made money on this one. I, I'm holding it. I'm looking at the monthly chart. You know, price target easily easily could come to seventy five. So I'm just gonna milk this one out and run it. Um, I'm in a more trade. I'm in other trades right now, bouncing in and out. You know, so that's it. You know, I, I'm gonna just um, I'm just gonna watch Nvidia guys. <laughs> that's it. Gosh, I wish uh, a little more on this one. I know I'm being a pig. And I know we're into some support. But I really want to see what NVIDIA does, and then we'll take it from there, guys. All right. I'm going to end this live stream now. Uh, watch NVIDIA after hours today. Oh, uh, let's go over this. Yeah, I, want, I, I don't want to be on the live stream. I want, I want to really keep an eye on this one. I want, But watch for... Um, I don't know where this thing's going, guys. They're holding the 200 MA. This, this is going to be big resistance here around 250. If if that if that holds, we could get a nice fade. If this gives out, then you're looking at probably 260. Let's go to the bigger time frames. Um, yeah, 250 in here, 270 maybe. I mean, I don't know if we'll bounce 70 bucks. I don't think that thing's capable of doing it. But you know, the the 30, 40 bucks maybe. I just don't know if this thing drops. This low pivot 175 will be a good area maybe. But, you know, if this drops, I, I think it's just going to just give it up, and that's going to be it, guys. Um, just be careful. You know, you got this pivot here at 180. 180 is really good. 170 is really good. <clears throat> you got a gap filled down here around 150. So just why For me, um, just, just I got to see what happens tomorrow. I got some puts on the SPY. I, I bought some on the Qs, the IWM. Um, just small positions because if this thing bombs, we're going to get taken down tomorrow. Um, but watch though. One thing to watch for: if this does lose it, watch Apple to catch a bid. Watch your your um, Amazons to go green. Watch your Teslas, your Googles, your Facebooks. They will try to get all the other ones green because if this one's red, this could drag down everything. That's that's a, how I'm kind of looking at this guy. So watch for all that too. Thanks for all the work. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, Wilson. No problem, buddy. You know, I, I love this stuff. I've been doing this stuff for years, but uh, this year I've been just flipping, killing it, guys. We, we've had over 400 trades, swing trades, just knocking it out of the park. Our intraday stuff, so we've been killing it. A couple trades went against us, but that's it. Our McDonald's, 
I sold for like a dollar loss on the call. Big flipping deal, you know, and I just, that was the right move out of McDonald's today. I just, it just wouldn't come back. I've been in these trades before with McDonald's, everything else is cratering and everyone's buying McDonald's because it's a dividend play. It's, it's a tough one, but eventually McDonald's will click over and there'll be lights out. So, all right, guys, I'm out. We got a couple minutes to learnings. Keep an eye on NVIDIA. If you are in a couple of those put plays with me, make sure they're one or two contracts, small contracts, more like a 50-50 casino play. And if you want to get a drink, have a drink um, and then pretend it's the casino because that's what I do when I'm playing these. I don't drink, but uh, that's what I'm saying. So, all right, guys, thanks again for uh, stopping by, watching my live stream becoming a member and all my members out there. Let's uh, rock these markets to keep this thing going. And uh, let's keep an eye on NVIDIA. I'll be on the uh, mic a little bit earlier tomorrow. So watch for my live stream tomorrow morning, um, especially if NVIDIA blows up today. We're going to have a lot of fun tomorrow in these markets. All right, guys, thanks again for stopping by. Don't forget to like the stream. Don't forget to uh, become a member at stockbookie.com, all that good stuff, blah, blah, blah. 30 bucks a month, guys. At least subscribe to my YouTube channel when I go live. You'll be getting that uh, stream. Eventually, they will be private, and hopefully we get a couple hundred people in here and kicking some ass every day. So, All right, guys. God bless. See you on the charts.